Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems like it. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is... I've been mucking around a little bit in uh, the super editor, just trying to get everything where it needs to go uh, for bioscience. Um, I think we're just about ready to plug this in to the main base. Hopefully. Haven't really had a chance to test uh, the biosludge loop yet. So we'll see how that goes. Back to space exploration. And hopefully we can get ourselves on the way to Spider-Trons. Did I send the announcement? I did not. No, the butt actually works now. That's surprising. Alright, cool. Uh, so what do we have here? Oh, I already did this. That could be a problem. Let's see how this fits. Pretty well for the most part. Uh, I will need to move a bunch of things. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is get this stuff on the sushi belt out of the way. Um, naturally, this is not going to require... Okay, they've already been removed. I don't need any, uh, infinity chests included in this. And I think I might just stop the sushi belt for the moment. Uh, hopefully there's enough room to get this stuff out of the way. Because we probably will have to mess around with it a little bit. That is not quite good enough. Um, what if we bring it over to here? Alright, cool. That should be enough. Right, so blueprint. Where do we need to change things? Up here. And over here. Oh, there's still, um, we're still missing some scaffolding. Let's go place some of that manually. Much quicker than the butts. Uh, where is it? Scaffolding. And once that's been placed, we'll better able to see what's really missing. It's really very difficult to see um, where the gaps are.
Could have sworn there was a gap there. Okay. Why don't we place this for now? And see what's wrong with it. Actually, I think there's going to be quite a bit wrong with it. Uh, maybe it would be better to just remove this for the moment. Yeah, I think it probably is a better idea to do it like this. Um, all these pipes in the middle and stuff. Probably a suspect. That belt was definitely wrong. I'm glad I did it this way. I think the uh, cosmic water is correct. Definitely that bit of belt would have been wrong. And I th think we're pretty much there now. I'll just have the bots replace that stuff anyway. Okay. So. Except for those two bits of belt, I think we're fine. What's this? Oh, there's scaffolding missing for some reason. Probably was a bit careless when I deconstructed just now. Alright, I see a couple of red blips over here. No, those are already being removed. And that one's okay. Right, so that should um, make sure everything's correct. And then we just have to finish connecting things up and see how the biosludge loop functions. Oh, also, we don't really need this many um, speed modules. Well, maybe some of them, but... Uh, I was just trying to hurry things up a bit when I was testing. A hey, evil plant. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't remember setting things up so that the belt could move again. Maybe... Maybe it pasted... Um, maybe it pasted belts facing the right way again into place. I hope we didn't miscount anything. Well, it should be a pretty minor miscount in any case. Uh, okay, so... It's gonna take a minute for the bots to finish rebuilding this. Something I haven't done yet is connecting... Which one's this? Bio... Uh, contaminated bio sludge, and I think this one is... Yeah, contaminated cosmic water. So these, I think, are going to have to go all the way back to here. And is it this one that deals with it? Yep, that's contaminated bio sludge. I want to make sure I leave plenty of room this time. And this one, hopefully they line up with an odd number, of course not. 
That one does. And then contaminated cosmic water goes in here. One's going to be a little more tricky, but nothing too much to worry about. And we'll make sure we put this at least a tile away, I think. Um, there we go. Another long piece. Hope I don't run out of them. That's going to be a ten. Okay, and then we need, is this connected? Yeah, it's connected. What about the cold thermofluid? It's not connected to anything yet. I think we'll just pipe it from over here. Um, like so. And I'm tempted to put it further down, but I guess this might be okay. Can't tell where the... oh, that's fine. I almost said I couldn't tell where that would line up. Uh, might not need that one. Probably do it here. Something like that. Do I have any scaffolding on me? Yes, I do. And then seven, eight, nine. All right. So that's going to be the cold thermo fluid. Can we do a seven? Is that going to, it's not going to connect to anything. Oops. Hey, we got cold thermo fluid. Fantastic. Right. So we've got our cold thermo fluid. We've got room to output the warmer thermo fluid. Um, we need another decontamination facility. Uh, where was this? Oh, that was for the contaminated scrap, because I didn't want to part it all the way down here. However, maybe it would be better to do it that way. Um, was there other things here that produce scrap? I'm not seeing any. Alright, let's do a rate calculator. Everything except for this. And... E yeah, I'm not seeing any physical... Wait. 
I'm not seeing any physical scrap, I don't think. Nope. Okay, in that case, I think I would rather have another decontamination facility here. Do I need to make it in the space manufacturing? I could use an assembly machine. Requires vulcanite block and low density structure. And vulcanite block. Uh, decontamination. And I need a chemical plant. Can I make one? Yes. And that's when I realized I had myself muted. Oops. Chemical plant 10. Please stop taking my chemical plants away. It's going to take a moment to handcraft it, but... Not seeing the bots bringing this back yet. Or is it in my trash slots? No. Okay, finally. Take that. And it looks like the rest of this has been built now. Fantastic. Uh, where is... What are my bots doing? Do I not have any? No, I definitely have bots. Oh, I see. These guys were pulling dibs. Okay, so that is, we just need to connect lubricant to this. Uh, where is lubricant? Over here. That shouldn't be too hard. That's actually a really good fit, except pipes are not long enough to get through here. Uh, this light oil is not actually going anywhere. So let's move that out of the way for now. I don't know how I'm going to get a pipe across here, actually. Could go this way. E yeah, that'll work. And then... Uh, chemical gel. One of these is going to be a problem. I guess we could go across there. I don't like it, but uh, something's going to have to be done. We've just straight up run out of space, really. Okay, let's do one thing at a time. Lubricant can go here. We can just barely get across this. And up we go. It's actually a, not the best fit. And then... Guess we'll do a 3B there. Where are my pipes? Give to me some pipes, please. 
Right, so that is lubricant for the one machine that requires it. Uh, blank data cards come off the belt. We also need bio sludge to come over here. The first little bit of it, uh, we kind of wasted what we had. Um, bio sludge comes over here. And this is where we are making nutrient gel. I guess I took the pipe away for the moment. Which is fine. So that's going to be bio sludge. Does it come from anywhere else and is it all connected? I don't think there's another source. This is all of the bio sludge that we get from material science, I think. So this goes over here somewhere. Uh, this is bio sludge input. Connects to here and to here. And to, uh, this is for This is bio sludge from biomass. Biomass requires bioculture. Bioculture ultimately requires bio sludge. Nutrient gel. I had that coming over this way, but I don't know how easily. But we can go through here. That'll be fine. doesn't quite reach. That's not the perfect fit, but actually that's fine. All right, so nutrient gel is going to fit here. And yeah, I think we'll... Um, I think we'll just connect that up like so. I was only thinking about not connecting it yet because... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't do the corner yet. The only hesitation I had there is, is it going to consume all of our bio gel? Um, we sort of already did that and put a bunch of uh, nutrient vats in a box. Kind of let that go a little bit too far, unfortunately. Is it this one? This one. Um, I think I'll just put the vats in here. Wait. Oh, I see. I think we'll just put them in here for now. And maybe I will disconnect this for the moment. So that every little bit of bio sludge that we get from mechanical science uh, is going to go to... Wait, no, don't take... I'm just trying to use it for storage. Um... Yeah, it's going to take a couple of trips. Where are you taking that? Oh, that's fine, I guess. Right. And I'm pretty sure that's the only product we needed nutrient gel for, right? The nutrient vats? Oh, wait. That was required for bio... Uh, biomass as well. Um, I hope I wasn't just putting it in the wrong... Nope, that's right. Okay. So once we get some bio sludge, we're going... Oh, we also need the vitae being sent up here. Uh, kind of hard to get the loop going without that. Hmm. 
All right, well, let's get everything else into place first. Bioculture requires spice. There was one other thing somewhere uh, that requires spice. Here it is. So that's going to have to be on the sushi belt, I think. And don't forget to count it. Actually, that requires a red wire. Also, this should be a red wire. Um, this one should be green. We are reading belt contents pulse as we put something back on the sushi belt. Um, this is red because we're taking something off. Read belt con uh, read hand contents pulse. And the same is going to apply here. Okay. This one should have been red. Make sure that actually connects to the main network. And this one as well. And same goes for you. Anybody else? Yes. Uh, this is... is... Gonna be green. Read hand contents pulse. No condition. Junk data cards go here. And whatever we need off the sushi belt. Read hand contents pulse. And that is going to be blank data cards. Uh, this is going to go straight here. Blank data cards go here. Blank data cards go here. Nothing has to go on the sushi belt from this one. So it's going to be something like this. Blank data card. Uh, red wire. Read hand contents pulse. No condition. We need extract on the sushi belt, or maybe we could deliver it straight here. In fact, I might just... I could put the um, spice, was it? I could put that directly onto this part of the sushi belt. Just so it doesn't necessarily go around in circles first. I don't know if I've left room to be able to just not have the spice on the sushi belt. What's this? Oh yeah, that makes sense. So spice goes... Uh, here. That's just these two machines. Spice and spice. I wonder if there's a way. Surely there is. I'll have to move this uh, substation. But if I brought the spice to this belt, half of it. I'm very tempted to use bots for this part. That 
point reach. I could just put a belt through here with the spice. Yeah, no, I think, um... I think I'm just gonna do... Since it's gonna be so low throughput, why doesn't the... Oh. Since it's gonna be so low throughput, I think we've limited ourselves to 50 logistic bots up here. So that we don't have them crash, don't have to bother resupplying them just yet. We could maybe have the bots do that part. And I suppose we could put a landing pad right about here. The spice. And we'll just do it like so. Maybe just put it where there's power already. And then we also require extract. Extract is made from spice. Maybe we should just do it here. So we have one less thing that we need to send up by rocket. Um, we do lose out a bit on productivity bonus. I think it's only two productivity modules in a chemical plant though. Or is it three? I think it's three. So that is 24%. Uh, but it's only one, um, it's only one extract for each, uh, for each two biological science packs. And this system's not going to be very fast, so I think it's probably fine to just, uh, not worry about it. How do I make the extract? in a chemical plant or biochemical facility. Does it have any side? No, it's literally just one to one. It actually feels weird seeing such a simple recipe up here. Hey, hissing walnuts. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. LTN noob here, but ha uh, can LTN trains only exit their stops going forwards? No, they can exit going backwards. Uh, in fact, that's what we're doing at most of our stops. Um, but technically, I do have these set up so that the train could go forward if it wants to, but I don't see that happening. Um, so what I have... Let's see if we can find a cleaner rail block to illustrate this. Um, how about, yeah, how about that one? Hold on. Oh, Boringer attack. Everything seems okay. I'm really looking forward to the energy shields. That's going to make self-sufficient walls uh, easy mode. Should probably fix this stuff as well. I'm very much looking forward to Spider-Trons. I could get that fixed up without actually leaving the planet, or going to the planet. Um, okay, so here's our depot. Well, it's actually a pickup station from uh, delivery cannons. Uh, the trains can come in from this side, or they can come in from this side. I think that's actually pointless in this instance. I could probably go ahead and remove some of these signals. Um, but the point is, a uh, train comes into the stop, it's now sitting here facing north. If it's a double-header train, it can go out this way because of the way this is signaled. 
Um, or it can go out this way. Uh, either is totally valid. I'm having a stubborn train. Uh, check to see if it is a signaling issue. Um, if you are able to... Let's see. If you're able to give it... Uh, hold control on the map like this. And if you're able to give it a temporary stop going in the direction that you imagine, then the signaling is fine. If I wanted the train to go up this way, for example, going on the right track, it won't do that because there's no signal uh, saying that it's allowed to go that way. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to be a bit lazy for uh, for the extract this time. We'll do it in space. Which means one more of these requested chests. So now we just need to send a uh, spice up to here. Novice orbit. Uh, Vite spice. Realized what was wrong? Backwards stop. Okay. Um. So that should be all that takes. Do we still have a spare... I'm pretty sure we've got a couple of spare um, cargo rockets that we haven't used yet over here. Yeah, we do. Fantastic. But first we're going to have to turn it into spice. So once I go back to Nalvis, I think the next production block we're going to make is all the different kinds of uh, Vita Melange products. I'm just going to assume, right or wrong, that we're going to need uh, Vita at all the different stages of turning it from stuff that you mine all the way into extract. And I'll make all of those available to the rail network. Um, bio... I think that just leaves connecting the pipe up for um, bio sludge. Oh, and we need to figure out how we're going to get these two connected as well. That's a problem. I might have to go... Significantly out of my way for that. How many things here actually need chemical gel? We've got one here, one here, and I think that's it. So it probably makes sense to go in a different direction. Around the back, that is. I can't really put the input there, I don't think. That should be a 3B. It's... Uh, the stuff we need is already here, so maybe we can... What can we do? Not that way. I th think... 
we move these up a tile. Put that down here. Bring it all the way around. It's actually a pretty good fit. You know what? That's fine. Actually, no, it's not. And then... Connect up like so. That's definitely an improvement. Alright, let's grab a Niner. And... One, two, three, four. I guess the best we can do here is a three. All right, that is going to be chemical gel. And that just leaves... We already connected lubricant. Great, so that's actually it. Are we rebuilding the sushi? Uh, we are tacking onto the sushi the last system that we're going to be able to fit onto it. The next time we expand production in space, we're going to really have to go back to the drawing board. Um, as complex as the research production chains are, um, I think I might have to really spend some time in uh, editor mode to design something clean. And it's going to be, it's going to take up like a lot more space. I'm thinking huge main bus, but also we probably need certain resources to be able to go back and forth. Maybe I should even... What's the research for space trains? Here it is. Space rail. Excuse me. Space railway. We need energy science. No. The track itself requires energy catalog. Yikes. So I don't think we can just jump to doing a rail block system in space uh, anytime soon. So that would make certain things a hell of a lot easier. Um, but yeah, designing like a main bus system, the problem is various resources have to go back and forth. Can we watch you redesign the new space research base? Uh, yeah, sure. I think it's going to be very slow paced, but... Uh, I mean, if I were to cut it out of streaming, for one thing, it's going to take ages, and for another, uh, as slow-paced as it might be, I think... I mean, it doesn't surprise me that there'd be people who want to see it. Um, so... Bio-sludge. Uh, that is contaminated... Here it is, bio sludge. We need this to go to here. It's going to be quite tricky, I think, actually. That's bio sludge. That's bio sludge. And that's bio sludge. I can move that down there. That might actually be a lot easier than I thought. Oh, this is just lining up perfectly. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Could I maybe... No, that wouldn't reach across. I guess we'll just not use a 15er there. Nine. And 
and maybe a scythe. I like these long pipes to line up with each other. And we could just do it like this. And that should do it. I love to watch how people come up with designs. Cool. Right. So we will eventually get some bio sludge. Um, has research moved in the last while? Hey, King Ferb. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Emma plays. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Welcome, Raiders. What were you up to today? Uh, what was I trying to check here? Oh yeah, material science. I haven't seen any motion on this research. Uh, but I haven't really been looking, so I don't know if it's stopped or if it's just slow. It was a good one trying to feed this 11k monster. Scary. We have four material science packs. The belt is full. That's not great. Um, well, we are just about to add... Okay, it also helps that this is actually blocked for the moment, but I'm hoping... I should double check all of the inserters are set up correctly first. That was not correct. Read hand contents pulse. Read hand contents pulse. Anything that takes from or puts on the sushi belt needs those settings. Um, anything putting stuff onto the sushi belt that isn't like uh, junk data or scrap or something like that, that isn't something we have to get rid of, we need to put a limiter on. But I think it's only junk data and scrap and stuff that we're doing with doing that with over here. So that'll be fine. And then... Yeah, was that everything? I forgot the part where we actually put this stuff onto the sushi belt. Wait, does this thing make junk data? It does. Okay, yeah, we do have... Uh, filter for that. I think it was the extract that we were going to take off the sushi belt, so we're not going to do that. And put this here like so. Uh, this is going to be bioscience number one. If I can find it. And junk data card, that's still going to be the same. Unconditional read contents. Pulse. Bioscience less than 100. Fantastic. I think we're ready. So we should see the plasma uh, in motion shortly. Fantastic. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Okay. We can always do speed modules if necessary, but I think we're just going to be bottlenecked on uh, objects. As opposed to the buildings. Right. There could be something up here that I've missed. 
that I fear we'll have to come back here to fix. But... Well, I kind of want to see the... Um, uh, what is it called? The bio sludge in motion first. Is there another way to get bio sludge to get this thing started without material signs? Let's see. Bio sl sludge. Uh, contaminated. Raw fish and cosmic water. We might have to do that to bootstrap this thing. We need a biochemical facility, which I think we've got a spare one or two. Okay. I think we should probably do that. Could probably fit it right here, actually. Bio sludge. No waste products, nice and easy. Um, water goes in. I don't think I have any fish on me though. Uh, okay. Well, it. I'll just leave this here for now in case we have to resort to that. Is there any other way to get the bio sludge we need? Wood and cosmic water? I don't think I have wood on me either, but that's the exact same sort of recipe. We could change this one. Biomass and nutrient gel. I think that's what we're doing over here. Wait, no. Neural gel. Yeah, we're not doing that yet. Bio sludge barrel. Vitamelange nugget. Cosmic water and vitalic acid. I haven't heard of that yet. Okay. Uh, vitalic acid. Requires glass, sulfuric acid, and extract. I don't think we're going to be doing it that way either. So it's either going to be... F we need to remember to bring fish or wood back up here. And... I haven't actually done the math, but from what I understand, there is a loop here that is... Positive feedback. Uh, it will produce... Net produce bio sludge after we deal with the waste products. Um, we should eventually get there from doing material science. Um, but if necessary, we will bring up some fish. It's midnight 50 here, so hate to raid and run. No, that's fine. Take care, King Fnob. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you have a good sleep. Hope you have a good rest of the stream. Thank you. What you're up to today? More faster. Uh, today we are getting the Spaghetti Science uh, Bioscience Pack 1. We can finally get spiders after that. Although it it is going to take a while. Um, but yeah, that's the main goal for today. Get, preferably get ourselves a spider before the end of the stream. And after that, we're going to need to get away from this, uh, sushi. There's just not enough throughput. Um, there's too many different things that need to go on the belt, etc. Um, yeah, probably a main bus is going to have to be the next iteration up here. But I think we have gotten to the point where the thing to do... 
that is going to take all of the bio sludge. How long until it's saturated? I think it already is, kind of. Well, it'll still make a bunch of nutrient gel here. Can we work on that now, the spider? Um, I need to go back to the surface to make a production change for Vitamelange. Uh, and up here we need to send uh, spice. And I'm being lazy for the moment. The spice just gets turned into ex extract up here. But that should be all it takes. And then we'll have the biosigns. So I think it is just about time to return from orbit. I'll drop these on the ground for now. So that we know we have them. Um, don't need this. I've probably got a bunch of quests for space pipe and stuff that I need to get rid of. Otherwise the bots are going to make me take it home. That should have been left side. Space belt. And this one. I should really look into that mod that lets you change uh, profiles for personal logistics. I need to start my second better space station base, rush to better power poles, and second beacons. Nice. Now, I'm just lazy to start. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, we did get a railgun. I need to test that. And I think I will take the rest of that ammo with me for now. Um, railgun ammo, 200 minimum. What else? I could spend more time tidying up my inventory and requests and stuff, but I think I would rather just get going. Put this over here. We're actually more than halfway full with the flat solar panel rocket. Nice. Okay. So I'll put this here. And I think we are ready. Where's the capsule? I know there's a capsule around here somewhere. It's not in my inventory. They could all be in here. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoa, what are you guys doing? Fair enough. All right. So I can't think of anything else we should be taking with us or anything like that. We're suddenly delivering a lot of glass. Should I be worried? Uh, that's looking really full, actually. What's going on here? Okay, we've stopped with the glass. Glass, less than 10k, and this has to be empty. Uh, we now have 10k glass. Okay, so that's actually working. That seems fine. 
and can we start working on the new research base? Uh, well, I need to get this working first. So the next step is to go planet side and build a production area for Vitamalach. And then we're going to be sending that to orbit. And away we go. Probably should have let the bots pick up the rest of that stuff. Oh well. Can I actually mark those for deconstruction? Let's pick them up. Why can't I? Oh, okay. Get those back in circulation. And like so. And I think uh, we'll do the Vitamelange nice and close to the rockets. I never actually quite finished building this. We're missing a bunch of stack filter inserters. Should we play with the railgun first, though? Seems like a decent idea. Where is somewhere that we could perhaps push the biters past the pollution cloud? Down here? This wall has never had any trouble though, I think. Maybe we'll pay them a visit over there. I see that wall getting attacked all the time. Question. I copied your 18 stop LCCCCL depot from the print site. I'm learning LTN currently. Is it an error that the refueling stop requests 3200 rocket fuel? Uh, rocket fuel stacks to, let's see. Let me go find one for visual aid. Uh, here it is. Oh, and I should swap back to power armor. Much better. Uh, we have three chests for the rocket fuel. So that is 48 times 10 times 3. So we can fit... Uh... Not so much. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. Oh, this is requesting 800. So yeah, I guess I haven't updated the blueprint since I changed this. Only three chests. Yes, definitely. Alright, let's go... I should have taken a taxi, actually. I'll send the taxi train over to wait for me. It might stop a train from resupplying over here, but it's not going to be too much to worry about. Okay. Let's get ourselves some lasers. And shields. And probably more jetpacks than this. Are we fully charged? Yeah, we're fully charged. Close enough. Bit of energy taken by the shields. Alright, railgun. Let's see what it's like. Oh! Good timing. What if I get in front of you? That sounded weird. So it one-shots the blue ones in a line. Rate of fire isn't too bad. How, how far does it go? Oh my goodness, did I just damage my wall? Possibly. Um, 250 plus 400 physical, that's like 600. I kind of want to shoot it down this wall just so we can see exactly how far this is.
that is... Oh, I think I destroyed the gate. Ouch. So from here... Okay, wow. That's a lot of range, literally off screen. Maybe diagonal from the middle screen length? Yeah, it's about to here. So, should be pretty easy to take out spawners with this thing. These ones are obviously a bit easy anyway. But if we go find something a bit harder to reach... And make sure we recharge power a little bit. It one-shots the spawners. Oh, wow. That's... Wow. <laughs> okay. This is arguably easier than artillery. That is pretty damn powerful. That actually really exceeds expectations. Not for killing the biters, but the spawners, absolutely. Doesn't even kill the worms. But yeah. Do some flybys, let them attack the wall, rinse, repeat. Spawner. That took very little effort. The biogun looks cool and it makes the biters eat each other. Biters stuff on default or increased? Default. Uh, I should definitely not have the, uh, the railgun equipped when I'm just building things. I don't want to fire that by accident. We do have a biogun um, that we got for free with limited ammo from orbit, but it's definitely, as far as killing the spawners go, it's definitely not as good as that. Okay, once we get back... Um, I think I'll drop off the railgun ammo for now. And... Once we've resupplied... Can I swap these? Is there even a point to having the rocket launcher with the railgun? I can't make cryo ammo just yet, I don't think, so that's fine. Alright, are the bots bringing me anything? Bit of rocket fuel. I don't think I'm going to wait for it. Let's head over to our next build. And we'll give that a condition. Okay, so Vita Melange, um, what I've seen so far, the production chain is just one-to-one -one and one-to-one -one until you add some vulcanite blocks to it. And 
Nugget plus block becomes roast. Roast becomes spice. And spice becomes extract. So is it just the first step that has... Um... Oh, you've got no path. Yeah, just as well. Okay, let's turn our bots back on. Um, some extra ones, actually. Got to watch those 0 0.5 chances. 0 0.5 chances. With Vitae. Where am I not? Oh, I'm not carrying rail because I changed a bunch of requests to go to space. Luckily, we have it here. And I'll take some of that. Hello? Oh, okay. I see how it is. Uh, make that 200, and one stack each of these. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any for now. All right, let's, um, let's see what we can do here. Usual drop-off station. Um, I think the only thing we're picking up here is Vita Melange itself. Let's position the chain signal, uh, the signals first. This one's going to go here, I think. And if we have another station, which I don't think we will in this case. Uh, in that case, it will go... here. And this should be the middle. Right. I can't see the where the chests will go. Let's see if that's correct. Good. I'm telling you that you will love auto trash, the mod you mean? Yeah, it sounds good. Um, okay. So... Uh, Vital Melange Spice is the only thing that happens in Assembly Machine. This requires a Pulverizer. Don't think I brought any. Whoops. And we need Furnaces. Interesting. Okay. Industrial furnace, uh, assembly machines, pulverizers, and chemical plants. I think I brought some chemical plants at least. Chemical plant. Uh, extract is the final step. I'm just gonna try and visualize the production chain here. Roast. Uh, roast. Uh, nugget becomes roast. Roast becomes spice. 
and spice becomes extract. And for roast, we need a pulverizer. And that should be the whole chain. So it's a straight line, except we also need uh, Vulcanite blocks coming into here. So I guess we will definitely be having two drop-off stations. Let's go get some pulverizers. Um, I'll leave some assembly machines and chemical plants here. Alright, and away we go. So I need to request pulverizers, um, don't know how many, let's just say 50 for now. Actually, how many do I even put in one of these blocks? 72, I'm sure 50 will be plenty. And I need some train stops, we already fixed those. Okay. What's the hold up? Nothing. Let's just travel over this way. And admire the beauty of this clockwork style sushi belt with no combinators and no circuit wire. Very cool indeed. So the way this works is... Um, the way the splitters are set up here, you can only ever get a quarter of half a belt of red signs coming through right here. So you're basically just speed limiting it, so it only takes up so much of the main belt. And the same goes for the rest of them. Did we get our pulverizers yet? Or was I hanging about outside of... No, I was in the network. So, where's our pulverizers? I definitely automated them. We also need furnaces, I almost forgot. Industrial furnace. Let's make the... I don't know, 60. Three stacks. There's nothing on the way. Why not? Uh, there's definitely furnaces here. Are we in the same network? We definitely are. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. Checklists. They're good. Right, so once the bots uh, give us our stuff back, we're definitely going to need more stack filters, I think. Probably, definitely more inserters. I don't think we'll use it, uh, need any filters and in filter inserters this time. 
Maybe some more stacks. We seem to be sending an awful lot of coal into orbit at the moment. Uh, but it's not overflowing or anything, so I guess it's fine. That probably means we're having some decent throughput over here. I see a lot of machines active at the moment, so that seems cool. 75% done for Adaptive Armor 4. Alright, let's try again. Uh, passenger present or lots of time passed. Well, the mud page of auto trash is promising. I have to try that. Cool. Coronal mass ejection, ETA one day. Tullaby. Uh oh. Okay, Tullaby has a ton of power though. Um, because nuclear. But I don't know if we have enough power storage to get through. What is it going to be? 28 gigajoules over 120 seconds. Only 0.35 gigawatt peak power. That sounds... Isn't that weaker than what we had to deal with on Nelvis? Regardless, we need to make or deliver an umbrella over there. Um, what does it take to make an umbrella? relatively simple, but the production chains that I've set up here are really just to deal with the different outputs. Oh. Oh, we're stuck on coal. I didn't see that coming. Hmm. Could we perhaps... Uh... I could try burning the coal in steam engines, but we're already massively overproducing power-wise. Uh, I could make coal liquefaction, but then we have to make room for all of that. So the problem here is... Actually, what is the problem? The... Delivery cannon capsules are apparently keeping up, but we've run out of storage room on Nalvis for where the delivery cannon is delivering to. Yeah, this, uh, wait, what? Or not? Wait, where is this one delivering to? I may need to update this. Okay. We're not asking for coal right now. The delivery cannon chest is empty, and there's hardly any coal here. Oh, I didn't whitelist it yet. Okay. Oh. That should have coal arriving shortly. Yep, there it goes. And everything's in motion again. Fantastic. My initial thought was um, production of delivery cannon capsules is actually not keeping up with getting rid of the coal. But evidently that's not the issue. Uh, but yeah, we need... Before I forget, we need an umbrella over there. I think I'll just visit and deliver one myself. Otherwise we need to make... Um, we've already got batteries, concrete, there's probably processing units lying around. You know what, why don't we just set up a request for the things that make an umbrella and see what we've already got. 
there's concrete already. It might be a lot easier just to build it like this. All right. So here's our train stops. This is going to be the Vulcanite blocks. I don't know how high throughput uh, we're going to need to be here. Some of these buildings are quite large. So I imagine by the time we fill this out, we might not need like uh, four blue belts. Where are my productivities? There we go. And so Vita Melange goes to Nugget. Nugget and Block goes to Roast. Roast goes to Spice. And Spice goes to Extract. I would like all of these products to be available in the train network. Even if it turns out we don't end up using some of them. Uh, and we can design it better in future when we know what things get used for. So how do I actually put like a, a train stop between all of these? First of all, we build things around beacons, which is another thing I forgot to change my requests back for. Actually, let's just make that 10 minimum, no maximum. Beacons are here. Modules as well. I should just turn my logistics requests off to go to space. I think that's easier at this point. And for some reason I'm requesting a lot of big electric motors. 200. Okay, so there's really only one layout for this part. Since they have to be close together to make six of these touch. I could, uh, if I really wanted to be greedy with what I get out of one beacon, do it like this, but... No. So some nice neat rows. And substation, that's a bit sad. That's very sad, actually. Um, there's nowhere I can put it that would make room for a sub to cover all of that. Tragedy. If this were to repeat, the substation would still not reach those ones. Okay, I guess we'll do it like so. Give it some power so that rate calculator knows how fast it is. 57.024 per second. Okay, what if it's uh, four of these? 38. 
5 makes 47. That is not a nice even number. If I'm going to fill one belt, it's 45. Um... What if we aim to fill two belts? Oh, and how much input does this take? Only 21.6. Um, okay. 90 over 21.6. If we do this four times, it, it takes almost everything from a two belt output. Eight times. Can we even fit eight times? Uh, blueprint, snap to grid relative, not even close, we could do five, would we even be able to keep up with that? Um, did I run out of modules? Nope, not even close. Alright, so this would be... 100, only 108 per second input, um, and kind of an obscene amount of output. 280 per second I think is 4 blue belts. Um, no, it's six. Okay. Uh, so let's cut this down a bit. This many does 86 in, which is good. 228 over 45 is five blue belts. If we use this kind of space up here, do we even have room for the furnaces to consume what comes out of it, or a fraction of it? Uh, so that is roast. This consumes 38 per second. This makes 57 per second. That's not going to line up very well. I mean, we do kind of want some side output to go to the train network. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to... have that fit in anyway. Ideally, I'd like to have just a line between each production block. Um, that takes each as input. That's probably too close. Let's suppose we go for 90 a second in. Uh, let's see. 90 per second. And this will be this plain old bit. Uh, bit of my lunch. You 
you know, a design I should have made by now, I think, is maybe I can send this over here. And drop in one of these over here. That's kind of takes up a lot of space down this way. Also, we wouldn't need that. Maybe it would be better to have the balances up here. The lane balance apart. Uh, not that one. This one. And this goes here. I don't think we can fit it like that. And then if we have a regular fortifor, I don't think that's actually going to work out smaller. Isn't that the same size as if we connected this stuff up like so? Yes. Pretty much. Except there's all this extra stuff up there. Okay. Never mind. Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about that much through the, uh, throughput. For the input for the Vitamalange, anyway. One, two, three... I think I'd like to keep this in the base two numbers if I can. And split it off like this. And I need to double check how much is needed. I feel like I'm about to put some unnecessary belts in here. 86 per second, 43 per second, 43 per second. Yeah, so just one belt. Uh, this way. That's kind of unfortunate. Where's the middle? There we go. That doesn't look right. Okay, so that will be less, slightly less than 90 in, 228 out. That is five bull belts, let's call it four. Um, these are going to require vulcanite blocks. There's plenty of room to slide that in over here, I think. Actually, maybe we should... Oh, I didn't notice that. Um, how fast is the... How, how fast is this individually? 
3.6 per second, so I do want a short inserter. Actually, this might turn out handy. Um, I might just put one, two, three, four belts of vulcanite blocks going down that way. So let's do a... I should probably change the signal for this. Uh, not the signal, the um, icons to represent it. Because I keep not finding it immediately. Left 90 per second combinatorless. Not like that. Let's do a long lane balancer. And that's unfortunate. That's fine. Bring the Vulcanite blocks down this way. I feel like lining these up just for consistency. This way. Just like so. Oh, that's tragic. About this. Right, so that's going to be Vulcanite blocks. Don't forget this one. And I think I'll move you down here for now. Actually, why don't you just go back to base? And come back here with more stuff. Actually, no. It's going to arrive backwards. So what I want to do, if I can do it somewhat elegantly... This might be a good way to do it. Actually, no, that's the worst way to do it. Um, I think this is on the right track. No pun intended. What I want here is a train stop to pick up nuggets. But I also want to send the nuggets through to here. I don't want the train station to act like a buffer. We'll just split things into it. Because otherwise it's going to play havoc with decision making for the trains. Um, I might have to make more room for this. In fact, maybe I should just have the train stop on the side. How many train stops do I need if I'm going to do it this way? One, two, three, and four. A hissing walnuts. This might be the right way to do it. Wait, no, this is the worst way to do it. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. Never be too married to how you're going to go about things. Um, so I'm thinking what I might do is a train stop on this side, 
one on this side and two at the bottom in the usual spot. And we should be able to arrange the inputs and outputs for that fairly cleanly. So if we put this over here, one, two, three, one, two, three. I wonder if it would be more like symmetrical if we did it like this. I don't think I would like the look for that as much. So this one's going to connect like so. And I don't particularly want to merge all of this and then split it. I think we'll just have splitters from these outputs um, that merge over to... That's not right. Uh, that merge over to our... What's our maximum output from this? Four belts. So, could we maybe do two full belts going into this train stop? We can do that with uh, minimal fuss. I think that's a pretty good A uh, pretty good balance between throughput and how easily we can fit this all together. That's actually a really good fit. Okay, so we're going to have like a two-lane bus going this way. I guess this one won't need a splitter. Um, I'll just design it like this first and I'll figure out where the undergrounds fit most elegantly later on. And if we're going to have full throughput, we actually need something like this. And I guess this one's really unnecessary. And then this one goes down to here. I don't see any reason we couldn't put these super close together. Um, 
Aesthetically, I might choose to put them slightly further apart sometimes, but I don't know how much space we're going to end up with. Also, do these need... How much input do they need? Almost a full blue belt for input for the nuggets, I think it is. But hardly any for the block. Hmm. Output is relatively quick. I think we'll just... Oh, this actually lines up perfectly. Um, we could just have the blocks in the middle like this, although there's nothing over here for now. What? Oh. And use long arm inserters for that. Hey, Felix. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, doing relatively good. Doing my best to hide from the highly unnecessary outbreak over here. Um, basically hiding in my room until I can get my booster shot at the very least. So that's cool. But other than that, doing quite well, thank you. Um, and that over there is... Vulcanite blocks. And... I don't really have room for a splitter there. If we put... Undergrounds, we definitely do. Where's the train? Turn off the personal logistics. Right, so... How far does this reach? Almost from the middle to the middle. So let's do it like that, and then we can do a splitter like so. Wait, that does go from the middle to the middle. Oh, it's a different map. That makes sense. Okay, this one goes here, and this can go down here. Nice, I got mine Tuesday, only a bit of running nose today. Well, good luck with the, uh, symptoms. Varies wildly, but, uh, side effects in a day or two after the shot can be no fun. Absolutely. Alright, that should be sufficient. Don't need this little reminder anymore. And then... That is considerably less than half a blue belt. We can do the output like so. In fact, I think we'll just do it like this. And for all of these ones that come together, like 
this. Do it like that. Right, so that is going to give us uh, 107 roast per second. So I think we'll do two belts of output for that as well. And we'll bring that over to the train stop and let the rest go through to the next thing. Um, the rest of these are 3x3 three three buildings, so I'm hoping we don't run out of space here. If we do, we can definitely move this stuff up at least a little bit. Uh, if things get desperate enough, we'll move this stuff. We'll move the chests up above the track. And I think we'll manage one way or another. Um, so, I was going to say, should we summon the trains already? But no, I might end up flipping the, the side that the chests are on around. Okay. So the next step, well, I suppose I should replicate what we've done over here first, kind of. Copy pasting that isn't going to help, I don't think. Uh, so let's do it like this. Um, I think I, even though we're barely going to do more than two belts for this one, I think I will make it so that that much could go to the station anyway. Um, wait, that's output. Uh, output is on this side, rather. So, get rid of all of those. Copy that. And this is what we actually want to merge. Looks like we have room to squeeze it in here. If we're gonna, if we're gonna do two belts going this way. Except we also want to bring it through like this. X. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry if it's commonly asked. Do you use LTN or something to manage trains or vanilla? Uh, LTN is what we're using for this playthrough. Alright, so that one's going to go over here. We're not going to need the splitter and this lane over here for this one. And then, like so. All right. Oops. And probably going to have a similar uh, layout to get this stuff into these chests. Except it's kind of coming from the middle, so no, not at all. Uh, this one. I guess 
if we do it from the middle, there's no way to avoid uh, one of these being on the corners. Which is just slightly unfortunate. But it's... I think it's better than bringing everything all the way up or down just to avoid that. Oh, we also need to merge this one in. Uh, we could just do it like this. There might be consequences. So let's maybe do it properly. Okay. It actually just barely turned out to be enough space for that. Which is kind of neat. Although we could have made a little bit more room if we had to. So the next uh, block is going to be... Where are my assemblers? Can I get some more please? Our next block will be spice. And this is not where it's going to line up, actually. Um, well, let's check the ratios first before I make a decision on how to lay this out. Uh, six of these makes only 8.9 per second. It's quite slow. Wait, one second. And we've got speed modules. Crafting speed plus 80%. So that should be 2.25 per second. Yeah, so only 8.9 per second. Also only consumes 13 and a half. Um... So one of these could support, like, almost three. 38.4. 40. Okay. So let's maybe try... Let's maybe try having a couple of these for each of these blocks. Uh, question is how to fit them together. It's one in, one out, and it's relatively slow. Can we maybe do it like this? What would that ratio be like? Should have included the substations and the copy paste. And have I run out of modules? I have. All right, let's go on a little trip, shall we? But not before I turn this thing around. So that it arrives in the correct direction. What? No, stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? Go forward. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think we're going to need any more pulverizers. So let's carry the usual number of those. And same goes for... Wait, did I place all of the furnaces? I think I did. 
Yeah, that'll be enough. So, furnace. Oh, there it is. I think I typoed. Okay. Oh, I forgot to turn on the auto trash as well. Uh, 200 assembly machines is probably enough. And then... Modules. Good. I think we're ready. Just wait for these bots. And back we go. Yeah, I think this design will be satisfactory. I don't know, we could always have separated them all into separate blocks and massively uh, had way more um, production capacity than we're going to need, but I think this is probably going to be fine. All right, let's um, grab those modules, power this up, and get an idea of the rate. If we do it this way, uh, only 81 roast in per second. A yellow belt between the two of these could supply uh, the roast. Total output is a bit more than a blue belt. And then we need to leave room for extract as well. So I think we'll just do one blue belt going to the other train station for this one. Um, regular signal. And then train stops. And then... And then what? Probably we're going to do this down here, but with um, uh, chemical plants. Should have carried a lot more. Get a melange extract. So I guess we will do this on planet. We'd have to set up another cargo rocket to send it up, though. But on the other hand, we'll benefit from productivity bonuses. And we may as well. Naturally, I'll have to move the beacon a little bit to make sure that we can actually um, get the inserters in place. But just to get some idea of the ratio, this is actually going to be consuming the spice too quickly. What if we lay it out a bit more like this? These can actually do eight. Uh, plus 11, minus 8, and then 
five per second for each of these. Hmm. I don't think it's going to work out ratio-wise if we do this. Um, can we maybe take those back for now? That's actually extremely close. And we could just prioritize one or the other at any given time. I normally don't like to underproduce an item for the next thing, but that's just super close. So, move this stuff down a little bit. And maybe we can... Have these items escape off in this direction. If we do it like that... Okay, first of all, let's just remove that. Put this here. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with room for belts, but I could be wrong. The whole thing produces uh, less than half a belt, so maybe a splitter. Except for the fact that we're not going to be able to balance it. We could do it here, I guess. Splitter might, might not be super necessary. Um, if this consumes 18 and this makes 38, I was thinking about putting these closer together, but there isn't really a way to do that. I could do a snaky belt over here. Since we're using substations. If I do that, there's not going to be... any room in here to balance the belt. So I don't know how we're going to merge this in. Let's see. Outputs would go here. At this rate, we're going to run out of room for the substations. That's fine, actually. Except this time, it's going to have to... Have to what? What we need is for this to merge like so, but also to come down here. I don't think it's possible. No, I think we're going to have to take up a bit more vertical space if we want this. Also, how much does this support? Uncounted beacon. Okay, sure. That is too much 
Vitamelange roast. But if we keep going like this, it's not going to be a ratio of 1 to 2, right? That's the last one we can fit, actually. I don't think these... One, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Squiggly belts are not going to make a difference. Uh, so... Uh, and while we're at this, let's check this ratio here. That's actually near perfect. Okay, we're keeping that. I think we'll put this far enough apart just to have a straight belt down here for the inputs. Which will give us room to belt balance like so. Um, which will which will give us room to have these inputs like this. So we can just have things... Uh, each of these only produces 11.8 per second. Uh, what was it? Like five of these we can fit, I think. It's going to be more than a blue belt. We're going to have items merge into just one side of the belt, but we're going to balance it. Or we could just... Yeah, we could balance it bias to the right side so that there's room for what comes in on the left. That makes a lot of sense. And obviously this one... Actually, no, we will have a splitter there. Okay, I like where this is going. Let's put that right about there. Alright, so let's uh, check that ratio one more time. Uh, literally less than half a unit per second short of completely saturating these ones. That's pretty good actually. But can we actually... So this overproduces for that. I think what we're going to do is, wait, where's the output? Wait, oh no. Okay, no, that's fine. For most of these, I've been doing it right. Okay, cool. This one, I think we're going to add a splitter, like so. That goes there. And then splits into this input. There isn't room. There is room. I don't think this half can keep up with this one, though. It cannot. So we kind of need that to split over to there. 
We don't really have room to merge and then split all of this stuff. Um... Hmm. If we do some undergrounds like so... Then we'll have a bit more room to play with. And then... I think we'll have to do something similar here. And it looks like we're going to be doing basically the same thing all the way down. That's not going to be in... wait. Uh, that is going to be enough for that side. It's only going to fill half a belt though, but that's okay. We didn't make the same mistake over here. And oh that that's kind of weird. Is that gonna go to three different places? Is that fine? It's probably fine. Kind of remains to be seen if everything's going to get where it needs to go throughput-wise. Okay, well, I think there'll probably be room to make adjustments if we need to. Alright. So that just leaves grabbing a bunch of chemical plants. Um... We need the spice to go to one of these stations, and the um, extract to go to another one. Which I don't think is going to be a problem, since it's going to be one belt. Actually, that's like closer to two belts maximum. Hmm. I hope we're not running out of space. I mean, we are running out of space, but uh, I hope we have enough. Probably going to end up doing things on this side. If it gets dire, it's going to be a pain to move a bunch of this stuff, but definitely could take more advantage of the space up here. Pretty easily, I think. At the very least, we could simply move all of this two tiles up. Alright. So. Which side is going to be which? Is one going to be easier than the other? 
Wait, no, we're already doing the output for this one. So that should be fairly simple. So I guess we'll settle for just one belt of... Um, uh, spice going to the train stop. That's not much of a sacrifice. I'm really tempted to move all of this up. It's going to take a lot of bot jobs to do it, but... We'd be able to significantly increase the maximum throughput of this stuff to the train. Well, let's, uh, let's do these outputs first and see how they go. And create even more bot jobs for when we decide it needs to be moved. So this is uh, 36 chemical plants, which will give us just under one blue belt. That's actually incredibly convenient. So all we need to do is merge like so. Let me just copy one of these. And so do that one on the other side. Put that in there. need three tiles and this one. Oh, we could move all of these up a little bit. Like so. Gonna have to swap that one around. The rest of these are looking pretty good. That reach makes me just a little bit sad, but I guess I can live with it. So that could actually... No, it couldn't. Okay, cool. So this will be um, extract pickup. Oops. And this one is going to be, is it roast? Spice. Nice. Pick up. And I think I really do want that extra 30 per second. Well, you know what? Instead of moving the whole thing up, uh, we could probably just move all of this down a little bit. Definitely room to do that, in fact. So, let's do that. 
very carefully. We can move it... Why can I only move it two tiles down? Because I accidentally picked up the train stub. Uh, can I... There we go. Let's move that down as far as possible. It's actually just one tile. But it's going to make all the difference. As we should now be able to merge these in properly. Or even if we even if we can't do the usual proper two lane merge, uh, we might be able to actually no. Let's see what we can figure out. If I need one more tile, I'll see if there's a way to make that happen. That's going to stay pretty much the same. Okay, that's one way to do it. it no, it's not. This might be. No, it's not. Um... Tricky. If we move the substations, it might get a bit easier. Uh, how about this? We definitely have to move the substations to make this happen. But... That would go there, actually. And... Uh, this goes here. And the substations we could put here, we could put here, I think. I think we'll go with that. As long as it touches everything and fits somewhere snug. I don't particularly like the way that wire is connected. Okay. So this goes here. And here, here, and that merges properly into there. What is this? Oh, right. I think that's it. And we can very easily get a couple of belts down here. doesn't fit that well. Let's just do it like that. Oh! Actually, I wonder if... Would it look better or worse if we moved that in a tile? Not that it matters too much. That's actually pretty good. Oh, 
Oh, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I don't know why I would have expected otherwise, but since we're not doing a lane balancer, we need to make sure everything's on the same side if we're getting about a full belt. Also, don't know how this snuck in. We'll just do a copy paste. There we go. Hey, Lorin Lama. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how have you been? So this is... That one. I need a balanced loader. I can never remember where the blueprint for this is, so... It's pretty easy to make. Actually, no, I do think I remember. I think I updated the pickup station left side. Blueprint. Fantastic. Except we just lost the station name. Uh, what was this called again? Spice. It's been a while. A year, right? Uh, could have been a month, could have been a year at this point. Uh, provider. I think I used the wrong icon over here. I did. This is actually a provider. Well, actually, let's, um, let's grab this blueprint first. Pick up station right side. Goes there. Uh, I need to make room. The... Combinator. There we go. I just make this weird joke about year changes. Oh, right. I... yes. Yes, indeed. And I would never miss a joke like that. Not even once. I hoped to sleep more, but I couldn't. How are you? Um, I have been getting more sleep, thankfully. Although I am currently uh, in full lockdown mode. Because someone did a fucky-wucky and everyone in Australia is hiding for their lives if they have any sense for the moment. Alright, so that is going to be that. Hell yeah, hey fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So let's put this here and this one here. That doesn't reach. That'll do. And how neatly can we do this one? Not very. Let's start over this side, and I guess that'll do. Great, just great, yeah. Uh, I will not be leaving my house until it's to get a booster shot. Alright, so... Chemical plants. I think that's all we require at this point. I might be ready to request our uh, Vitamalange and what's the other one? Red bricks. Vulcanite blocks. Uh, let me just set this up. Vulcanite block requester. And, oh, I should have, that's fine. We're not going to override the station name. Standard drop-off. Oh, 
So we're going to ask for a couple of trainloads of Vulcanite blocks. And uh, Vitamelange. I don't remember what Vitamelange stacks to. Let's see. Vitamelange stacks to 50. So we'll ask for two train loads of that. Uh, 16k. And put some filter inserters over here. What are we doing? Vulcanite block. Don't forget to tell LTN what's already here. And power this stuff. Wait, let's see if we can bridge the gap this way. That's good. Nice, neat connection. And over here. That'll do. It's not like we could line that one up. Although, we could be more consistent with how we did it over this side. Oh, time to turn these things on. And all that's left is to go get some chemical plants. Also to set up the stations on the side. Away we do not go just yet. Because signals. Whoops. That's fine. Alright, back to base plates. Also locking down at home, doing my own SE game all day, panic buying groceries off Amazon, all the good times. Yeah, this is the first time... I mean, I've been uh, lucky, I've been in Queensland, but uh, this is the first time I've actually gone, you know what, I'm gonna get things delivered. Uh, and I left it a little bit late. Uh, I didn't realize there would be like a three-day wait for delivery. So, uh, living off pasta and noodles and stuff. I ran out of caffeine and had a withdrawal headache that lasted more than two days, so that's fun. Although I was surprised at the severity of that. I didn't really think I was going cold turkey. I'd been cutting down recently. Um, but that's actually... Uh, probably most of the reason why I didn't stream yesterday. Uh, I don't know if I was sick from anything else, but... Suffice to say, it wasn't just head pain, I had some nausea. I always keep some pasta, also I love pasta, yeah. I could have done better to have a better variety of food uh, that I've got stocked up, but... If it really came down to it, I could probably last a couple of months. Uh, it wouldn't be good nutrition, but I'd be alive. Alright. Wait, I forgot to ask for more chemical plants. How many have we got here? Uh, this is an extra 49. I'm carrying 10, so that's uh, like 60. And we have... 36 we need. Okay, cool. Off we go. Oh, 
Oops. Speaking of which, I'd better make sure that headache doesn't come back while I stream. Give me a minute. Okay, let's turn that off, and I'll remind myself I need to drive it backwards, and grab some more chemical plants. Alright. Why have we got no Vitamelange delivered yet? I thought we had a lot of it in the delivery cannon block. Or is that all... Did I not set up Vitamelange to be delivered here? That's cold. Hmm. Let's see. This is the only place we're getting it, right? Also, I forgot about that umbrella. Let's find out if we have everything we need to build it. Everything but batteries, and batteries are over here. Maybe glass as well. We can manage that. Okay, so batteries. Um, I think we'll just do a passive provider and put a one stack limit on it. I'll have to wait for the bot to arrive. Where is this targeted? Oh, we do have Vitamelange. Okay, cool. Limit to one stack, and apparently there's no popper. Uh-oh. Okay, I can see ammo. This has not been a problem for long. But still concerning. The belt is not moving again, that's why. Because we're full of coal. Did we stop sending coal? Yeah. Because there's no delivery cannon capsules. There's no delivery cannon capsules because uh, there's no copper. There's no copper because possibly because we've been sending it away. Probably should have done this a while ago. Um, if copper is... If this part of the belt is saturated with copper plate, uh, then we'll allow this one. We're basically putting this at the end of the belt. Um, but how do I get it moving again? We do have copper plate in storage. So that helps. Just trying to see the best spot to stick it onto this belt. And that should get everything moving again, unless and until we don't have anywhere to send the coal. Which shouldn't be an issue because we're destroying the coal 
on Nalvis if we end up with too much. Currently it's just iron of all things. You look odd and your mother dresses you funny. Okay. Hello, Calissa Squid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I should probably set up these stations here. So this is left side. Fell. Uh, are you okay? Do you need help? Which one is this supposed to be? Uh, this is Nuggets. Nugget provider. Easy peasy. Except that we need some substations. Those are already powered. Convenient. I can't cover all of these with one substation, though. And I think the last one is roast. Yes, indeed. So this will be pickup station right side. And rename that one. A bit of melange roast pickup. Add a couple of substations. I'm sure we're going to need two here. Let's see if we can do a relatively neat job. That's pretty good. Good as it's going to get anyway. Cool. And we're also going to need some signals. Uh, I'll just keep it simple. I, I could have put it up here, but then we have to worry about that being in the way of that one, if we ever wanted it. I don't think we would, but still. So, chain signal means it's going into an intersection. Regular signal means it's allowed to stop over here in the next sector. And there we go. So I think that's actually complete, but we can't see it in action right now because for some reason... How much? Okay, we've got the vitamin. Okay, it's just not connected. Uh, I think I noticed this mistake earlier with other resources. Um... Oh yeah, I remember. The reason... I, I guess I could have fixed it remotely, but I want to make sure. So, we're going to have to connect the green wire that reads the storage of each of these. And so that that doesn't mess up our... Um... Balanced loaders. We're going to need to make these specific. And then we just connect this like so. And that's all it takes. Actually, this is a good demonstration. So here it's spitting out... Now that I look at it, because because we put in the um, uh, stack, uh, because we put in the filter blacklist version of the balanced loaders, that actually wouldn't have been a problem. So there's no need to make these specific unless I want to go to the trouble of replacing all these filter inserters with. Fast inserters. 
Uh, maybe don't connect those. Just do it like that. So that's going to be all that takes. And then... And then, and then, and then... We should get a train coming to pick up Vitamelange. Fantastic. How is he doing? Two substation? Yes, two indeed. All right, so that is full, and away we go. And this is the part where maybe we see an obvious mistake that would have been very easy to find in editor mode. Oh, we also need vulcanite bricks delivered here. I didn't think... I didn't think we were so low on them. Um, do we really not have vulcanite bricks? Uh, seems like we've got quite a few here. 9.7k, that's half a train load. But there should be a bunch of them elsewhere. This is 9.6k. Nearly 10k, actually. Hmm. I guess it's going to be a minute before we deliver Vulcanite block here. I could have sworn earlier I saw Vulcanite blocks were accumulating in some places, but I guess that's not quite accurate. I wonder if they would add a rocket that can carry liquids instead of needing barrels. Yeah, that would be nice. Well, I guess we're not going to get uh, as far as a roast. But... Wait, what? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Um... That's... I did say this is the part where we find some obvious mistake or other, but I am surprised that this is what we're finding. Um, so the Vita Melange goes straight through here, and... I actually forgot the part where we need an output belt uh, for the Nuggets. Minor detail. Um, also, that's still too far apart. Okay, what I'm going to do is let all of this drain out into this station over here. And we're going to let LTN uh, deal with it. For now, I'm going to get rid of the request for Vitamelange here. And I think there's probably a train on the way. Yeah. I was going to cancel it, but it's already here. So... We're going to have a couple of train loads of Vitamelange just flow straight back into uh, this provider station over here. There's also a little bit sticking out down there. Once that's empty... I'll pick up the rest, put it in the chests, disconnect that bit of belt, and make some changes. Okay. So what I... The, the mistake I made here is, for some reason, had the input down the middle and thought the output was down the middle. I, 
I don't know how I'm going to find room for both at this point. Um, I would like to not have to move the machines around if I can manage that. It might be possible. I'm going to need at least a couple of undergrounds here. Okay, the outside ones, what about the ones in the middle? I think we're going to have to spread these out. It's going to be a pain, but I don't think ultimately we're going to have trouble fitting this stuff. Except that these outputs are already lined up with the next lot. Um, I think I remember checking the individual rate of these was high enough that these will actually have to be stack inserters. So we can't do a long arm output. This is a problem. I could maybe move these belts that go down to here for vulcanite blocks. So I, I gain one tile in the middle of all of these ones. Uh, the vulcanite blocks. What's the throughput that we need for vulcanite blocks? 1.5 per second. For all of that. Well then. Uh, we definitely don't need no more than one belt to do it. Let's start by removing that. And... Probably... Probably end up keeping that mostly where it is, to be honest. We'll remove these. And these. I was thinking of having them go down that way, but there's no room. Uh, that one is mostly going to be the same, but I'll remove what's there. I think we'll start on... Excuse me. I think, I'll, think we'll start on the right side for the Vulcanite blocks. So that leaves this nice and straightforward. I could move all of these up. Might make it a bit simpler. There's never going to be a better opportunity to do that. So let's move these all up a bit. Now I want to... Wait, what? Oh, some pasta. Yes, indeed. All right, let's pick up the extra vitae over here. Put it somewhere safe. That's actually more than I thought it would be. Uh, luckily there is even distribution. There we go. I could move a lot of this up now if I wanted to, but there's no need anymore. Okay, so... I 
think. What's going to go there? Wait, we need a splitter. It was the inside to the inside, wasn't it? The most symmetrical way to do this part. Uh, that's too short. And this is now inconsistent. Okay. Oh, that's not a... Um... This is the last two belts, so we don't need a special merger thing for that. What's this? That is our Vulcanite blocks. So now we've got way more than enough room to simply connect this like so. Oh, wait. Minor detail. We do need this to go down here. Oops. Hey, Sydney Von, uh, Kenson Von Ice Tea. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so when we finally do receive our Vulcanite blocks... Uh, why does this one not have undergrounds? There we go. Let's do a... Balanced on loader right side. Um, we'll merge it here since we need far less uh, than a belt. Thank you for the host, Nyron Wolf. Much appreciated. Okay. I do wonder how long it's going to be before we get a... That looks messy. Uh, before we get a delivery... ...of Falconite blocks. Down here we have... 15k. Shouldn't be long now. Right, so that should cover it. Um, I might just make the pickup priority here extremely high until we empty this thing. And... Oh, we need to fix this still. Uh, so that is, this belt is supposed to be the output, but it's doubling as the input. I'm going to move these over to the side. Uh, okay, I think we're going to be able to find room. Uh, to have... That's not going to be like that. Let's just remove these for now. So what we need is to be able to have a stack inserter or two for the output for each of these, but also an input belt. Uh, 
We can literally just do it like this, right? Uh, which side is that going to go on? The lucky side. Alright, so far so good. Mm, what about this one? Are they both going to output to the same side? Nope. Fantastic. Wait, let me check this one as well, because corners can be weird. Alright, cool. That is very fortunate. Is a single stack inserter going to keep up with 9.5 per second? It should, right? 864 degrees per second is 2.4 swings. Lower that a little bit because it has to, when it's putting on the belt, it has to wait for the individual items to offload. Um, but a stack of eight, which is going to be more later on, I think it's going to keep up. Even now. Okay, and then... Nugget is... What is actually supposed to go down here, instead of... Vitamelange. I can't double-check that that's Nugget. Yeah, it is. So that does go there. That's fine. And then we need uh, input like so. Wait, how much input do we need? 3.6 per second. Is a long arm inserter going to keep up with that with a stack size of 2? Um... 432 degrees per second. 1.2 swings per second. Stack size of 2. Uh, almost negligible how long it takes to pick up the second item. But call it maybe 1.1 swings per second. Times 2. So like 2.2, it's not going to be good enough. So can we perhaps uh, get fast inserters for input as well? I don't know if we can do it. Five of them are outputting to the same side of the belt, aren't they? Not sure if the belt can keep up with five stack inserters. Uh, no, we tested it. Um, oh. Oh, no. Yeah. For some reason I was thinking this goes to the left, or I didn't think about it. That doesn't help. Um... I think we're probably just going to have to make this wider. It's going to be a nuisance, but... But that's all it's going to be. We've got enough room to make this work. I think. Probably. Okay, if we... Whoops. If we do output in the middle, input on the outside, we could move this one over a bit. I think we should start by trying to make things work for the middle more than anything else. So... We could do... 
Okay, we could be a little bit tricky with the uh, substations. We could do a snake belt down the middle. So one of these is going to have to move slightly over to the side. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem if we move this over. Wait, let's get it. Let's get the snaky belt in the middle. So that's going to be here. So move this over just like I was about to. Okay. Substations. Going to be biased towards the middle. And... Do it like this. Okay. Snakey belt to the rescue. I hope. That doesn't go there. And then... This one's fine already. These... This one's gonna have to move a couple of tiles to the right. Sneaky belt goes here, and uh, might have to put a substation in the middle like this, unfortunately, since we can't bias that on both sides. Uh, and this will have to go up a little bit, so we can do a... Well, I guess it didn't need to be moved up, actually. But I like that a little bit better. Don't forget this bit. And then this goes... Um, like this, I guess. Move these back in. That should be fine. And that just leaves this one. Needs to move over one tile. We need a sneaky belt. And why so many extra Ys? Uh, that looks like such a mess. No, stop it. Oh, right. There we go. This looks atrocious. Much better. I don't really mind that one. Cool. And then that is already lined up. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. I think we did it. So now all we need is, I think, actually for this one, it'll be cleaner if we start from the other side. Uh, left 90. How many belts does all this need? Just under two belts. So... 
split that off like so. We'll have like a main bus here. What's the input for these? 3.6 per second. I think a fast inserter can manage that. But if I'm wrong, we can always add something. Splitters go here. Oops. And here. I'm surprised we still haven't had any uh, Vulcanite blocks delivered. I'm beginning to get a little bit concerned. I'm guessing the Vulcanite blocks over here went somewhere else. They did. I suppose I could bump up the priority on this one. There's also quite a bit of Vulcanite in this system over here that we could recycle. Actually, I think... Okay, yeah, we've got a priority of 10 on the Omni Smelters. Uh, let's bump this priority up a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to take forever before it gets a uh, delivery. Is that straight? Yep. That's fine, I guess. No, it's not. Much better. Also, I guess technically there should be another splitter there. Um, we really don't need that over here. And this is going to look a little different. This should definitely bias to the outside. It's fine. Okay. Let's drop a long balancer here, I think. And actually, what about a what about a wide one? That works. Except we do want we we only need like literally one and a half of these per second, so that'll be fine. I think that's it. There must be something else it needs doing. Uh, we should definitely ask for the Vitamalange to be delivered now. Did I set the priority for this thing really high? Yeah, I did. So we should get a train moving stuff from here to here pretty shortly. Any second. Is this thing on? It is on. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right, good.
And I think a bunch of these need upgrading to stack inserters. Just a regular upgrade planner will do the job there. And we'll wait and see if blue inserters can keep up. Uh, what are we waiting for? Not reachable. Oh. I need a signal here. And I believe here. There we go. Same thing on the other side. That's actually already fine. And I think before this train heads back, I might just send it back to this stop. As soon as it's empty. Seems like the fast inserters can keep up pretty easily. Very easily, actually. Nice. Oh no, 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 no. Uh stop. Just stop, 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 stop. I should have thought of that earlier. Um hmm. turn this around. And I'll take... It's messed up the circuit because it's not designed to deal with two types of items. So there's actually hardly any nuggets in here. Why don't we just... Put some filter inserters. Set these to Vitamalange. How do I even spell that? Vita M. Oh, it uses a capital. I think that messed me up before. Alright, so once this... It, it should be precisely two train loads. Um, apparently not. Oh yeah, once this is ready to go... Wait, what are you doing? Nope, nope, stop, 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 stop. Uh, you actually came to pick up Vitamalange. I suppose I'll allow it. And I'll let this one go back to depot. And... Is it literally just this four goes here? Something like that? Okay, I don't know where the... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I don't know where that little bit of bit of melange ended up. It should be precisely two train loads that we ended up with over here. But apparently not. Okay, you may go. And then we'll change these back to... There was a little bit stuck in the inserter, I think. Or that might have been nuggets. Okay, so that should have been resolved. 
Um, is it just the circuit condition? Oh, I found the extra nugget. Uh, Vita Melange it was on the belt. And there's a little bit in this inserter. Any other sneaky little things holding onto Vita Melange? Or are we good now? I think we're good now. Hey, and we finally got our Vulcanite blocks. One train load should last a very long time. Why is this one not outputting? Oh, it requires a hundred nuggets? We may need some stack inserters over here. Uh, Prodigy NL, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you explain your train system? Sure. Uh, so it uses LTM. The rail block uh, blueprint that we have. Let's uh, place another one down here, shall we? So the way this works is... It's uh, left-hand drive, for the most part. However, all of the roundabouts are set up so that trains can go clockwise or counterclockwise. And we use double-header trains. This means we can set up uh, stations coming off the roundabouts with the absolute minimum of fuss. Um, it takes some figuring out the first time you use it, but the really nice thing about using double header trains is you can have really small uh, stations. You don't need a big loop. Um, as for LTN itself, uh, the absolute basics is you need to give it a negative signal of something that you are asking for, and a positive signal um, to tell it that you've got something available for pickup. I very strongly recommend checking out the settings for LTN and changing some of them. Um, because you will run into trouble caused by those settings uh, if you make certain assumptions. Uh, where do these nuggets go? In here. There we go. And Vita Melange itself. I think I need to turn down the frequency of the autosaves. Settings. Is it other? Yep. That did not feel like 20 minutes. Let's make it every half an hour. Thank you. No worries. And uh, Smeagol, uh, did you have any other questions about the rail system or anything specific? Also, a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with this uh, rail block. You can you can do a lot with it in a relatively small space. For example, here's our Omni Smelter design. It basically has two, four, six, seven, nine, eleven stations. Uh, because we are with LTN, we can combine stops, but also the rail this rail block system itself. Um, it takes so little to have space for train stations because they're able to come in one uh, come in this way and then leave the way that they came. 
I was going to watch this uh, sand train until it left, but because that's a stack size of 200, that's going to take a little while. Okay. Let's double check everything here. I see insert is moving in the final for the final product, so looks like things are going pretty well. Um things are a bit slow for the spice coming into uh turn into the extract. Even though I thought the ratio was like this belt is not moving because I didn't set this up yet. But I thought the ratio was really close. It is. It's extremely close. So what's not keeping up? It looks like the furnaces. I'm thinking it's probably... Oh. Okay, we need stack inserters for the outputs as well. Because... We get... 100 turns into 50 from a single recipe. So when this completes, we very suddenly have 50 items we need to offload. So let's upgrade those. Not going to upgrade anything else by accident. So how do you set up a station? Uh, okay, so... Because of the default settings that I've changed, um, something I need to have is a request threshold or a provide threshold. You can do it in the form of an individual number, which you will need to use for fluids, uh, or you can do it based on stacks, which is what I usually use. Um, if you have different sized trains, you'd probably had better set up a minimum and maximum train length. Um, optional, well, I don't think it's very optional, but limit, uh, this is train limit. The vanilla um, train limit setting I don't think does anything with LTN. Although if you set it to zero, it'll be like the train stop is disabled. Um, and then set a negative number for how much stuff you want. Basically, LTN will try to get this to zero if it's items that can be carried by the train. So connecting a circuit wire to these chests gives us a positive number for how much stuff we've actually got here. Subtract from that... Uh, 16k, which is two train loads of a bit of melange. And if the total is um, less than negative 8,000, well, negative 8,000 or less because of the request stack threshold, uh, it is going to summon a train. All my base copper has run out. I need to switch it to LTN. But that pasta is calling. So catch you later. Alright, take care, uh, fat boy. Enjoy the pasta. Uh, provider stations are much easier. All you need to do is literally just connect what the station has to offer to the logistic train stop input. And then... If you have default settings, that's going to be all it takes, although you might not be happy with uh, the amount that the train comes to pick up. Also, and unless you have an advanced circuit, um, the train will come to pick something up once there's a thousand available, but it'll completely fill the train if possible. So... Um, just one reason why I strongly recommend 
going over the settings and changing them as you please. Uh, but yeah, all you need to do is uh, optionally set a provide threshold, set the train limits, connect it to connect the logistic train stop input uh, to what's actually available for pickup here. And that's it. That's the basics anyway. I... We're still not getting roast as fast as we should. Hmm. Let me just check the ratio here. So it should be, like, literally more than 99% enough to keep up with this. But... But we're not keeping up. Which furnace am I looking at here? This one. So is it getting to a hundred before we start the next recipe? It is. Why did this one turn off? I think I need to stare at these individually for quite a while to see what's happening. Ideally, a buffer chest would be in order for each of these. Um, I'm thinking the sheer volume that we can actually put on the belts here. And the massive bursts of stuff that we need to pick up off the belts. Uh, put those together and we have some problems. Even though this is only um, 38.4 per second that we need to consume and 26 0.8 per second that we need to put on the belt. LTN looks interesting. I mean, if you... If you vanilla this, you need a lot of combinators to do the same, right? Uh, you literally can't do the same with vanilla, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would be doing it. I think you even need two stack inserters for input. We can try that. I'm pretty skeptical as to whether that will be enough. For some reason there's nothing at the belt here. I, I think it's actually the, the bursty nature of consumption that's the problem with this one. So normally what I would do to fix that is to have some chests, but I don't know that there's room to do that and keep things flowing fast enough. Hmm. And show all map? Uh, sure. This is... This is Narvis, anyway. I can't show all the different planets all at once, but there's only a few of them. Mars has been abandoned for a while. This is the first planet we visited, but we ran into some problems. Uh, this is Nauvis Orbit, where we have some sushi belts to make a few types of science. Actually, we're about to finish uh, Adaptive Armor 4. That's good. Also, I am not seeing 
We've got literally 76.7 .7 bio sludge. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go back up there with fish to get the bio sludge loop going. It, it seems like the the little bit that we're getting um, as a waste product from material science is not gonna cut it. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you for the follow, Smeagol. And, uh, Talum Grandmaster, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and also, uh, Gadden Alarm. Thanks, no worries. Thank you for the follow as well. Uh, yeah, this is... See, because, uh, this is my first time playing through space exploration, and it is a very complex... Uh, my big idea was to have... Uh, my big idea, because you get bot attrition, which kills bots, flying robots, um, my idea was to have a giant sushi belt um, that we would take everything off and put everything on here. Uh, it's worked decently up to this point, but... This is obviously as much as this sushi belt can take. Um, so, after Biological Science 1, um, we are going to be moving on to a new base in orbit. It's going to be quite a challenge at this point to design it, but... And we can't get um, space rail for a while, so it's going to have to be a main bus base, I think. Uh, and considering the the number of items that need to go back and forth, not just in one direction, um, maybe I could make a main bus base where, like, the Products go, instead of the output being straight into the middle like this, the output could go out to the side, come all the way up here, and then start from the top. That's a possibility. And then if we end up producing something here that we find out has to go up here, it's not actually going to be a problem. Uh, but yeah, Late, uh, our latest outposts are Tullabai, where we are doing core mining so that we can get that sweet, sweet uranium and run nuclear power directly to power itself. Um, unfortunately that comes with, it's actually jammed now. When it comes to core mining, um, you have to break down core fragments into a set ratio of things that you do not get to decide, and you will end up with too much of something, which, unfortunately, you're going to run out of storage space and it's going to stop the entire system. Um, wait, what happened to... We already ran out of that copper? Oh. Uh, yeah. This, uh, this system actually ran quite well by itself for a long time, but we did gradually get too much coal, eventually filling, uh, 24 chests full of it. That's uh, like 7.2 train loads. And we don't have the um, uh, delivery cannon capsules to send it away. So I'm going to have to pay that place a visit. Uh, we also did something similar on this desert planet where we get uh, iridite core fragments. And I was halfway through building this when I really strongly came to the decision of, okay, 
Next time we build an outpost like this, I'm going to have the items that we need for delivery cannon capsules delivered here directly so that we don't have to do any of this core mining locally. Well, not the core mining, but the processing. Um, because sooner or later we end up with this problem. Oh, this is actually different. What's happening here? Why are we not core mining? There's some iron coming through, that's fine. Um... Core fragment. Oh, it's the crude oil. It fills up so slowly I completely forgot that was even an issue. Uh, I don't suppose we have some storage tanks here already? Doesn't look like it. We've got some iron plate and steel though. This is actually a really good illustration of what I'm talking about. So as soon as we get ourselves some storage tanks, and as soon as the bots feel like moving again, there we go. That is a little excessive, but I'm not too worried right now. As soon as we get ourselves a storage tank, the bots are going to deliver it. And as soon as there's room for this crude oil to move, um, this uh, core fragment processing is going to resume. And... There we go. And then we get all the resources and eventually build delivery cannon capsules and send iridium, which is what we came for, somewhere useful. In future, I will definitely be setting up the simplest possible system for all of this with no ore fragment processing on location. Check your scrap heavy oil as well. Yes, indeed. I'm very tempted to just delete this, to be honest. I could do that. Um, we're literally not using... Well, no, I could just... Okay, we need a pump so that we can have some decision making over here. What I could do is put a pump here, uh, connect this heavy oil storage to that heavy oil storage, and the pump that decides whether the oil from the pump jacks goes in here says, make sure there, make sure this is mostly, or at least half empty. Um, that would prevent this from happening again. I don't feel like sorting that out right now. Um, last but not least over here. We should definitely connect that up. That looks kind of cool. And away they go. Right, so that is spice. Uh, extract, roast, uh, nugget rather, and roast, all available for pickup by the rail system. I guess I won't worry too much about uh, the inserters being such a problem here for now. I mean, I might redesign this block at some point, but 
for now, it's going to be way more throughput than we need. Alright, let's drive home, shall we? I'm just going to go this way first. So that we're facing the correct direction. Also, Noxie Way Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Surprise, surprise for the crude oil. Yeah, considering I just never dealt with it and I just sort of forgot, um, you reap what you sow. Okay. Um, probably put this thing on. There we go. So that means we now have our Vitamalange. Um, oh, come to think of it, because we're not getting... Uh, we're not sending Vitamalange back now because there's no delivery cannon capsules, because there's no copper because this is backed up, because there's too much coal. Hmm. I'm very tempted to just sort of make a machine that deletes coal over here. I could have it on its own separate power network with some stuff that just wastes power. Although beacons are not anywhere near as quote-unquote good at that. Um in space exploration. Let's get some glass so that we can make the umbrella. Hey, started playing space exploration. Do you have any tips for me? Uh, definitely. If you're playing default settings, be prepared for the fact that there's going to be far fewer resources than you're used to. Um, other than that, everything I just said about setting up the items for delivery cannon capsules to be sent directly to the outposts instead of manufactured locally, just because you don't want to deal with uh, core fragment processing on separate planets, better to send the core fragments uh, to a central location, I think. How high is your plastic and LDS storage? Uh, yes, I think. LDS, we have 7.2 train loads over here. Plastic, considering this is all full, is probably fine. We've got uh, 7.2 train loads plus here. And we've got the same thing at our two liquefaction plants. Uh, oh, do you mean on the other planet? Water unloading? Water unloading. You can use, um, what is it called? An electric boiler to just delete water where you need to, so that's by far the easiest way to get rid of excess water if you have it as like a waste product. For coal deletion or any other burnable, you can use it to make steam, then condense the steam in a chemical plant. Condense the steam? How much storage do you have? Well, yes. Yes, indeed. Chemical plant. Condense. Oh, okay. That would be a good waste of energy, of coal. So the coal becomes steam, the steam becomes water, the water gets consumed. 
Let's see. And a boiler. I guess we could... Well, no. I was going to say we could use an electric boiler, but that would... I didn't realize you could burn all of these things. That's something to bear in mind later. That reminds me, we need wood or fish to go upstairs for bio sludge. Um, we can't send either... We could send wood, not fish. We could send wood um, directly upstairs to make some bio sludge to get started. Um, I think we have a spare delivery cannon chest. Where is it? 20 bio sludge from wood. Or if we want to be a bit cheeky, um, there's actually some wood right about here <laughs> but no we're not we're not harvesting the space trees the space trees are precious just look at them beautiful okay so what i don't know that we you're kidding I was, I was literally about to say i don't know that we have any wood here but here is 20, anyway. We need 100 to launch a uh, capsule. We're actually bottlenecked here on the delivery cannon capsules themselves. That's a little surprising. I guess let's speed it up. Give one of those to me, please. And definitely request more uh, of this stuff. Space Nerd, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Trees just floating in space is cute. Yes, indeed. If you want big base in space, you need a lot of LDS for the space machine. It is better to convert the coal to petroleum for plastic for LDS. Well, presently the issue we're dealing with is in these little local production areas. Uh, the coal is literally just blocking everything. So priority one is to get it out of the way. I'm not as concerned about sending plastic elsewhere because... Uh, we need to produce enough delivery cannon capsules in the first place. Um, anyway, let's see if we've got... I don't think we're going to have any wood, because uh, I actually have a system in place to get rid of it. So I think what we'll do for now is... Remove the requests for that. Um, where would be a good spot to get some wood? Is there anywhere that I actually want to remove trees that were in the way? Not within the roboport range, I don't think. Um... Where's the best spot to take trees from? We're probably maybe going to build down here eventually. Okay. So that is wood. And that is a delivery cannon capsule. And now we just target uh, Nervous Orbit. Right here. Switch this thing on. 
and away we go. So how much bio sludge do we get? 100 wood is going to give us 200 bio sludge, which is going to give us 500 nutrient gel, which is hopefully... It's definitely not going to... Sorry. Yeah, 500 nutrient gel. That's not going to be enough to even fill this pipe. Um, I guess let's keep going. A C for cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your raid? Good to see you again, by the way. C for cat. Wait, did I say how was your raid or how was your stream? Yeah, I think we're going to need more wood to get this thing started. Oh, we do have the bio sludge there. Okay. There's even some genetic data. Products finished 13. Okay. Okay. This might not be so bad. We just have to get the... Uh... Vitamelange spice and let's get rid of this. We need to get a Vitamelange extract sent up there as well. Actually, I think that's got the wrong request. Spice. Uh, spice. And extract. What are your high, highest science tiers now? We're getting um, Bioscience 1 working. We're going to need some more wood. Um, I think I will... I think we'll just manually keep an eye on making sure we don't send too much wood. Send 50 of all of these. No, I guess heat shielding in LDS isn't that much of an emergency, but still. Uh, LDS, go. Aha, uh -huh, so you're starting with Bio 1. Interesting. Wait, is it possible to start with not Bio 1? Yeah, Bio 1 is the last thing that we're going to fit on that sushi belt. Um, very much so. Yeah, I think we're going to need a lot more wood, actually. It's a pity we can't send fish up by cannon. Well, we talked it actually has productivity modules and research for lab productivity. Lab productivity. Oh, yeah. So it would make sense to start there. I see. Also, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess that means gotta launch a fish rocket. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is what I should be doing right now instead of launching wood. Absolutely. really doesn't take very long to go through that wood. Alright, how is our bio sludge looking? It's still basically empty. 
Um, the main thing is we get some bioculture. Oh, which we can't get without Vita Melange. So, I wouldn't bet on it, but it's possible that we already have enough uh, to get the loop started. I mean, there's enough bio sludge to get uh, two bio cultures. And bioculture. It needs ten. Okay, never mind. I feel like if I leave this to its own devices, it's not going to overflow uh, the delivery cannon chest up here, but I don't want to bet on that. So, wait, it tells us how much wood this is, right? How much does it stack to? It stacks to 100. And this whole square here is... Okay, there's no way that we're going to go over. Let's grab some more wood. And I'll just leave that going for now. Uh, probably should have turned on my personal logistics a little while ago. And it is time to set up Vita Melange uh, Spice and Extract to be sent upstairs. Which involves going over here with some stack filter inserters. Let's take the uh, taxi. right over to here. Um, please wait for me. I'm at Astro 3, Energy 3, and Material 3. Haven't started Bio yet. Okay. Wait, you haven't started any Bio yet? Or you've got like Bio 2. Alright. So, since we don't have belts saturated for all of these, I want to be doubly careful. Alright, these three are taken. This is taken. These two, I'm pretty sure, are not. Alright, cool. So, this is going to be... Bit a uh, spice. What does it stack to? One? What? Oh, it's a signal. Um, spice. I don't think I have. I don't think I have that here. Okay, it stacks to fifty. So. Two train loads is 16k. And don't forget to set the filters. And then we might just check this way. Uh, extract also stacks to 50. Extract. 16,000. Extract. And that should be that. Oh, we got extract on the way already, but not spice. That's a little surprising. Um, I wonder if... You know what, I almost definitely should add a prioritization system here so that we end up with about the same of each. This is 10k versus 1.2k. Uh, 
Uh, so let's put in a little balancing system, shall we? Uh, how is this working presently? This is one-to-one, -one except for productivity modules. And... Oh, that would probably help. Uh, not that much, though. We're actually putting half of the spice over here. I think it was just because this belt uh, was turned the wrong way for a while. We're still set to get um, about... Where's the productivity bonus? 20. We're still set to get about 24% more um, extract than spice, but I don't think that should be a problem. The real problem is we're not actually delivering Vidamelange at the moment, because this whole system stopped. Um... All right, let me just double check that I've set everything up here correctly. What? Oh. Where is the extract? There it is. Can I move? There we go. Okay, so it's this one, I think. Um, I also need to set up... I hope I have enough um, cargo landing pads for this. Not to mention room next to the sushi belt. I could do it here. This is technically the sushi belt. Which means I wouldn't have to do a uh, request a chest for this. So this one's going to be spice. And this one can be... Uh, whatchamacallit. Extract. Triple X poser? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. This time I was first. Nice. My next step is to go to mine Vitamelange. I'm at Astro 3, Energy 3, and Material 3. I haven't started... Bio. So you actually haven't done any bio yet. How could you... How could you forsake our lovely spiders? I was playing Factorio for 12 hours today. Wow. Okay, uh, so that's going to be unconditional, count, positive. That should be fine. And then... Uh, I think... This will be okay, actually. You know what would be cool, actually, is an even longer inserter. Okay, so this is going to be Nervous Orbit... Uh, should I say Vitamelange or something? Should I just skip the part that I can't spell? I'm just going to call it Vitae, like I did over there. Uh, Nervous Orbit... I take extract. Cool. So, this, wow, it's actually like two thirds full already. Wait, 160 out of 500. Um, yeah, it's like, 
It's like a little bit more than a third. Not bad. Okay. This one goes to Narvis Orbit Vitae Extract. Uh, launch on hardware full. I think that's what we're doing for all of these as well. Launch on cargo full, yep. Oh, we actually have no problem with Iridium for now. That's, that's cool. We're actually ready with... Is this working? I mean, we haven't finished Adaptive Armor 4 yet. Oh! No, I thought it jumped to... It seems to be the trouble here. Compressive strength data. Compressive strength... Oh no. I thought I fixed this. Um, read belt content hold here and compressive strength data has to equal zero. But it's, the problem is actually that we've got too much Iridium plate over here. Ah, uh, okay. Can we just use one side of the belt? This'll, this'll prioritize using this side of the belt. So... Can we put this on the other side? That's the easiest way to do that from here. I think I'll just move this. Get rid of this. Do it this way. So that's going to be on the right side. And... This has input priority on this side, but that's not good enough at this point. Okay. I think this is just gonna go like that. And then we'll have to remove some of this belt temporarily. Just to make room for this part. Google has widget for it with a voice playback. Choose between British and US pronunciation. Uh, okay. Melons for UK. This is taking a little bit longer than expected. But actually, that might already be enough. Alright, I'm going to cancel that for the moment. And hopefully, when the bots put this stuff back, the Iridium plates will move back into circulation. And here we go. Almost. I don't suppose it's going to be enough to get the system going. We've got a little compressive data. We need... oh, that's enough to get that one going already. And we need a bunch of... Uh, material insights. We need another 12 to get this thing to spit out significant data, and we just need one of those to take another 20 Iridium plate from here.
it might actually be a good idea to put modules in these things to speed it up at this point. I didn't think uh, this sushi system would get that fast. But we are directly supplying iridium plate. So maybe, and, and it's not too difficult to make the uh, material testing packs, so maybe I shouldn't be surprised. But yeah, basically, this will automatically prioritize picking up from the nearest side of the belt. Uh, so we're setting this up so that the iridium plate from over here is going to take the left side of the belt, and this stuff is going to take the right side. So this will be a higher priority to pick up. I'm just curious to see if what's left on the belt here is going to be enough to push this to picking up these iridium plates. How many does this make at a time? Two. So it's actually five more recipes that we need. Uh, that costs one of these each. There's three, four, five, six. I think it's just barely enough. Let's see if we're right. Just three of these recipes to go. And while we're at it, uh, let's do a uh, planner. Put some speed modules in these. They are on their way. Oh, here we go. Soon. There's the speed. And... Drum roll. And we're picking up from the near side of the belt, as predicted. And it was not yet enough, because this was already on this side of the belt. Okay. Bots to the rescue, I guess. We actually only need a few. Yeah, that'll do it. I'm pretty sure this will get done now. Or not. I should have... I should have stopped this part of the belt for now. All right, what were we doing? Uh, this is set to go to Nalvis Orbit Vitae Extract. This is set to go to Nalvis Orbit Vitae Spice. Um, I think I already set up the train station, but all the spice got turned into extract earlier. So the next thing I have to fix is this. And to do that, um, I think the main thing to do... Why does that have rocket fuel in the back of the train? Where are you going with that? Uh... Okay, this is requesting rocket fuel, but I'm a little con concerned by that. Oh, I think I know what happened there. 
it was probably an imperfect execution of this system I have here trying to put things in the cargo wagons depending on how many cargo wagons there are. Okay. Actually, I just thought of the best way to... It, it's a little sad, but the best way to have a system where you can put items into any number of cargo wagons is literally just to pretend that there's far fewer items available for pickup than there actually are. Yeah, it doesn't stay long enough, because it picks up the number of rocket fuel it's asked for. Okay. At least it's delivering to a system that's kind of agnostic about which cargo wagons are in use. Okay, so we need to design a system to waste coal. Um, so I'm thinking... I mean, I guess burner inserters... Burner inserters, if they're active all the time, are less efficient than, like, a inserter or a fast inserter, I think. Um, but if they're hardly moving, they're way more efficient. But if we're constantly putting coal in here to get wasted, um, probably a burner inserter is faster. I don't know if we actually have burner inserters here, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, can steam turbines... I, I guess we'll use the steam turbines because they're already here anyway. But I was going to say, can steam turbines consume steam any faster than this? 30 per second versus 60 per second. So yes. Okay. And then we turn steam into water that feeds this system. How fast is this? Uh, 200 steam per second, whereas this can consume... And it, it'll be a steam turbine, it can consume 60 per second. And I should have the water supply for this area to deprioritize the actual offshore pump. Okay. Where else can I get the coal? We can have the coal go up here. And I need an offshore pump. I don't think we have those in storage. Offshore pump. and a storage tank so that we can measure how much we've got and not necessarily fill it up. Um, let's grab some of these steam turbines over I think here. We'll need to make some boilers. And maybe it would be better to put them somewhere with more room. We can always make more somewhere else. Uh, let's put some substations over here. I want this on its own power network. Uh, I could also add some... Well, okay, I actually have the perfect idea for something that can consume power. Um, let's get that glass. And bots are on their way to pick it up. 
Fantastic. I'll just limit this to one stack for now. Once we build an umbrella, we can just put it here, and that'll definitely consume all of the steam. Uh, we need to make some boilers, which is going to be a little bit of a pain. Don't tell me we've got no stone. We've got no stone. Okay. We actually started mining it earlier. For that same reason. Is that still in the range of the Robocop? Yes. Adaptive armor mark four is finished. So this gives us... We're currently on 100 shield pit hit points for every 2x2 two two armor. This one is double that. And it's actually pretty easy to make. In fact, I should just upgrade all of my armors right now. Um, don't even need to request anything to upgrade the first two of them. That was easy, even easier than I thought it would be. As soon as the bots deliver the rest. And just a bit more steel. And we're good. Wait, no. Uh, okay, settings, interface, I think it's... How do I... Always keep the main player's inventory sorted. There we go. And this goes to zero. Okay. Cool. We just doubled our shield hit points for combat things. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah. So we need to be able to make some boilers. Uh, let's put an assembly machine here. Actually, why don't we just... ...stick some of this stone in a chest. Okay, so we're going to have boilers going into steam turbines. It's actually a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, we have no more substations. Yes, we do. Oh, that must be outside of the robo-network. Where is the robo-network? Let's bring this up here. I presume we still have some RoboPort. Yep. Six more. And I'll limit that to a couple of stacks. And then... Oh, we got our umbrella. Fantastic. Um, let's make ourselves some... Boilers, for that we need stone furnaces. I think I'm gonna have to put this where there's a bit more power.
Wait, we still have copper in storage? Then why did we see this empty earlier? I don't understand what's going on here. Well, that alone might get everything going again, but I wouldn't bet on it. Let's check on the uh, space science as well. Okay, so I think if we now put this here... Fantastic. Actually, not so fantastic, because we need... Um... We need that half of the belt over this side empty. Okay. Meanwhile, on Tolibai, uh, let's get all up here. That alone will get things moving at least for just a little while. Not by much. No power. That makes sense. Can I put... Uh, do we have any regular solar panels here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. How about this one? Just put a regular solar panel over here to get things moving. Actually, maybe these should be burners because if I'm going to put the umbrella... Where is the umbrella? It's under military things. I can't actually fit it. Uh, okay, fine. We'll put it over here. So the idea is to have the umbrella draining all the power from this little tiny network. Um, but I think it's actually going to make the inserters move so slowly that we're not going to get coal put into the boilers. So... Burner inserters might be the way to go. Uh, boiler... So what do we need here? Pipe and stone. Burner inserters XD? What's wrong with burner inserters? Um, okay, so I'm going to have to make some. This might be a bit of a nuisance. Since we need... One, two, three intermediate products made. We don't have... Oh, we do have iron plate. A decent amount. Okay. Is this going to be within the robot range? Where's my assemblers? There we go. Uh, so we need cog and iron plate in order to make... Uh, single-cylinder engines, then we need iron sticks, and then we combine all that to make, I can't even remember what, burner inserters? Yeah. Um, 
single cylinder engine. Wait, this doesn't go here. This is going to be sticks. And now we need the long arm. Taking their sweet time. Okay, burner inserter, put him in a chest. Well, we literally just need 10 of 12, actually. Where is our bot? Here it comes. Surface scan progress for Hagen. Let's have a look at Hagen. Uh, where is Hagen? Down here. Oh, we finished. Very nice. A lot of flat space. Um, so I guess this was the Cryonite planet. Hagen. Yeah, Cryonite. Maybe we'll go there next, actually. It'll be a good uh, proof of concept for the minimalist base. Oh, that's a bit much. Okay, so burner inserters. Go here. Maybe we'll even end up doubling them. If they can't keep up. Efficiently wasting coal. Alright, so that's already up to... Oh, there's no water. Whoops. Uh, so we don't have offshore pump. That is small electric and pipe. I think... Oh, now we do. There we do. Uh, we do have small electric. Let's move this stuff over a bit. No. Uh, actually, one more tile would have been better. Small electric and pipe. Offshore pump. And let's set this to offshore pump equals zero. We're not going to need a whole lot of those in the network all at once. Okay, so water. Oh, I just realized we're not going to need to limit the water. I don't think. So we've got basically an infinite sink for energy here um, on a tiny power network that has just that for a sink. We have burner inserters, and we've got a bunch of steam turbines. One-to-one -one is enough to consume the all of the steam from each of these boilers. 
Right, so once we get some power over here. So what I was going to do with this, if we were going to use the chemical plants to turn the steam back into water just to waste energy, is limit this to uh, steam less than, I don't know, 15,000. Sorry, that should say water. Anything will work here. Sorry, everything less than 15k. Um, but yeah, that should do the job. Looks like the burner inserters are not having any trouble keeping up. So that will consume coal at not a very fast pace, honestly. Okay, that'll do. Why is this inserter switched off? Everything less than or equal to zero. Oh, I see. It's doing a balanced load. But we're only taking from here. Um, I think that'll sort itself out. We're actually consuming coal surprisingly quickly. Uh, 5.4 per second. So one step. It wouldn't do that much good to add more of these. We're actually at like 80... No! You're kidding. Is this actually going to power this? Um, how much power are we talking here? But it's not going to reach... It's not going to make, um... 500 degree steam. Consumption 27.6 out of 60. Why is it... Huh? Why is the boiler not consuming... water at full speed, or outputting steam at full speed? Don't tell me. This is enough to power this. I mean... It's nowhere near enough to actually use it. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um, but electricity wise, well, let's let's highlight all of this. Oh, also get rid of the solar panel for now. Put that back. Um, select all this. Change it to electricity. And it's actually going to produce significantly more than enough. To keep this thing steady, not to actually use it though. No, the coal usage has stopped. No. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't just assume it would keep going, but still. Because the buffer of the umbrella is full, so not a lot of energy is wasted there, yeah. I thought 10 megawatts would be more than this, especially since we're running off of regular boilers. So it's going to take quite a while, I think. before we see all of this stuff in motion again. It might get there eventually. We could definitely add more of these. No, it wouldn't make a difference. Uh, it would make a difference if we made another umbrella. We could do that. Um, I almost feel like we have to. Umbrella... Is there anything we could use that uses more energy? 
I don't think we have a another media defense handy. Would it be... Oh, we do. We actually have 12. Why do we have another 12 media defenses? Actually, I'm really not complaining. Um, this will do nicely. Right. So I don't know if it's because it's charging, but... Tell me we still have cliff explosives. I think the cliff explosives are way over here. Um, we do have a few extra... Roboports? There's five left. Is that going to reach? It might. So this goes here. Can't really tell where the next one goes. Right about here. And then... Here. I don't... I don't know if it's going to be enough. Okay, it's definitely enough. Maybe not to get in the proper Robopot network. But we could deconstruct the chest, at least temporarily. I'm gonna need some big power poles. Where's the last one? How about making your solar secondary power and just use up the coal that way? We've also got nuclear, which is way more than enough. Um, so I'd have to really go out of my way to do all the things with power switches. Although, will it prioritize using the coal over the nuclear organically? Oh, this actually got built. I thought it would never happen. Not that we need it. Still, that's cool. Um, we've gone ahead and borrowed some of the steam turbines we would need to make that second reactor. Okay, where's our roboports? Are they... They're being delivered one by one because we're extending the network. Hmm. Just make everything else secondary? I believe it uses nuclear first. That's unfortunate. Good to see you again, Heinche. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, uh, Master... Master 8 Luck? Master Bluck? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. The Biff Tech? Welcome, welcome. We'd be doing well. Yeah, media defense installation definitely drains a lot. It looks like it's more than enough. It's it's stuck at zero. And we don't even have the cliff explosives yet. That's what I was going for. So now our coal usage is happening significantly quicker. In fact, we're outputting 60 out of 60 per second here. Which means the burner inserters are using up even more energy. Fantastic. Um, and we've almost emptied this chest. So that is one out of 24 that we've emptied. Um... If I don't change the circuit here, I'm not sure... So this is the only one allowed to pick up coal right now. 
we're checking all of these chests versus all of these chests and so on. But... Also, why are these filter inserters? Oh, of course they're filter inserters. Don't. Um... Yeah, for a second I thought it was the type of balancer that sets blacklists. Uh, and does up to five items. If I... I actually don't understand why these ones aren't trying to pick up coal right now. So let's see. We're reading... All of these chests for coal, we're getting the negative average, subtracting the average from the positive, what's in the, what's on the red wires, what's in these chests. The wiring looks correct, so it should be exactly the same as, um as a regular balanced loader. I don't understand why these ones don't... I, I wish I could see the individual signals they're receiving. These inserters should recognize that they're allowed to pick up some coal. Oh, this one's empty. That probably has something to do with it. This is half empty. Okay, yeah. So this will sort itself out. Why is it only the topmost right inserter working? Because we don't have a lane balancer. Uh, so it's only this side of the belt that's being consumed. Because inserters will prioritize the items that are closer to them. Uh, one thing we can do about that, this is actually a pretty good teachable moment, if we do a, do we have room? Yeah, we could do it over here, I think. If we do a lane balancer, right about here. So the difference between a belt balancer and a lane balancer is a lane balancer will... If we're just consuming from one side of the belt over here, um, all of these are going to empty evenly. So what we're doing is setting up the conditions so that if things go through this side, it just goes straight through as normal. So items do not swap sides on the belt. However, if things go through this side, and it's all backed up, some people like to use underground belts for this, um, but if things aren't backing up, it doesn't matter if you're using a lane balancer. But anyway, um, if things go this way, stuff on the left side of the belt, tries to go through here, and is blocked by these items. And it goes through this way instead. And can move this way. And vice versa, stuff that tries to go on the right side of the belt here, uh, ends up on the left side of the belt. Which you'll see in motion in just a moment. Actually, let me first get rid of this. Thank you for the follow. Scale the summit. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let me swap that around and then this goes here. All right, so as soon as this moves, it might be a little bit hard to see because it's coal. But basically, you'll see that if things go through this side, they swap sides. And if they go through this side, they do not. Uh, so if one side gets backed up, uh, everything's going to end up going through. 
once it gets backed up, we should really be able to see it. There it is. So you can see at the very least that this side of the belt over here is what's being consumed, but both sides of the belt going into this contraption are still moving. And if we look at our inserters, we now see more of them are moving. Although it's mostly only this row and this row for now. But that's okay. The main thing is uh, this will drain more evenly, consume the coal over here sooner, and we'll get everything in motion. Looks like consumption's slowed down a bit now. Wouldn't only one inserter do just the same? Uh, do you mean as opposed to the row of six? Right, well, that is what I was hoping to see, and when we need the umbrella, we can uh, just connect the main power network to it, or just move it over this way. Actually, why don't we check and see. Why can't I put this here? Is there something in the way? Cannot build on shallow water. Okay. Let's put our umbrella over here. No, that's causing our media defenses to charge. We're going to need some more of them. Also, let's see if we can finally get that sweet, sweet cliff explosive. Fantastic. Once this couple of butts takes some, um, I'll just not mark it for deconstruction. And that'll definitely be enough to get rid of these pesky cliffs. And then, just build an, just built an umbrella myself. Damn, that thing uses a lot of power. Yes, it does. Especially if you're trying to stop the first, uh, uh, what is it called again? Coronal mass ejection. Uh, it can be a little difficult to have the stuff together to stop it. I recommend, um... This is using steam turbines, but steam engines, if that's all you've got at the time. Lots and lots of stored steam power, because it's far more dense and cheap than uh, accumulators. I think we missed some of the cliff explosives getting used. There we go. Okay, most importantly, we're dropping charge on the media defense installations. That means we're consuming as much power as possible. Which will throw away the coal that we're not using as quickly as possible. I should probably have set something up like that on Nalvis. Um specifically for getting rid of coal just so that we're not making delivery cannon capsules to waste coal but it's no big deal okay so i almost forgot why we're even looking at tolibai we really want that vita melange flowing again which comes back to the main problem of getting this belt flowing. So really, I think all we need to do at this point is wait a little while.
I'd set up a power breaker to actually be able to use the things if needed. Yeah, but we've got a ludicrous amount of power here because uh, the core mining is uranium on this planet. And we set everything up to run on uranium. As you can see, the, the steam engines are actually idle now. This is how much excess power we have. Um, it's a lot. Not really having any, having any trouble with that. Okay. Oh, how's our bio sludge in orbit? There's none in the pipe. 140. Okay. Did we get even a single bioculture in here? Products finished to zero. Products finished to zero. We need the spice. Okay. Literally, that's all. Um... Yeah, as soon as we get five spice up there, I think we're going to get our loop. So everything comes back to Tullaby. We just need this belt unjabbed. Um, wait. Why is that? Okay, I think I have an idea. There we go. Um, yeah, might have been better if I'd merged the stone waste product from over here back into this system properly instead of doing a half belt over here. We've only got half the belt moving, but that's, that's definitely something. I wonder if I can spaghetti the stone. You know what? There, that's it. That second half of the belt will be moving relatively soon. And I just heard a delivery cannon fire, which is definitely a good sign. We've got copper. Fantastic. And I don't have a whole lot of doubt that we're going to end up uh, making delivery can capsules fast enough for sending Vitamelange, because back in the main base, we've got an obscene amount of it. So I think also we will make a pickup station for Vitamelange to drain the main base of it. Um, I just don't know where on earth I'm going to fit a station for it at this point. I guess we could use this uh, decommissioned coal drop-off. Why not? It's not quite in the robo network for now. Uh, we could fix that, or we could sort of belt the Vitae over so that the bots don't have to have such a long um, uh, trip. Stack inserter. That's going to be way more than enough.
That's a little scary. I guess uh, all of this stuff needs deconstruction, although there's a bunch of petroleum here. Okay, let's remove all this old circuitry and turn this into a pickup station. And that's all it takes, actually. Station names don't really matter in LTN, as long as you don't go renaming a station while there's a train aiming for it. We also need some power, though. And the reason my bots are not placing these chests right now is because there's some bots from the main network that are eagerly bringing them over. But I don't want to wait that long. Right, so... Oh, that's fantastic. That is what I want to see. I might just stop um sending coal back to no i think we didn't have a problem i didn't i think we didn't have a problem sending everything from here earlier it's just that this got backed up oh yeah cop is actually saturated on the belt now Fantastic. We're making delivery cutting capsules almost as fast as possible. Wait, why is this? Oh, I see. Enable disable anything greater than zero. So we were prioritizing this direction? For circuits. Okay, fair enough. Not going to really make a difference now. Alright, cool. So it's literally making delivery kind of capsules as fast as possible. That's what I want to see. So pretty soon we're going to... Yes! Perfect. Uh, where is our... There it is. Bit of melange. Flowing into the rail network until this mine runs out over here. 46,000 to go, not counting productivity bonuses. Actually, more like uh, 48,000. There's more on the planet. Um, we just need to bother to go and get it. It'd probably be less bother by the time this runs out to go to a planet that gives us infinite Vitamelange, though. More importantly, uh, we should have... Spice? Question mark? Are we not getting Vitamelange delivered here? Wait, how much have we got? 5.5k. Red Belt is letting us down. So this is 45 per second. Um, and a train load is 8k. Six point two, six point three, six point four. Won't be long now. If they haven't picked it up from here already. Six point eight K. It's not going up as fast though, of course. Cool. 
Meanwhile on Tullabay, I'm not seeing delivery cannon capsules backing up just yet, nor would I necessarily expect to. But they are reaching the end of this, this belt, which is all I'm particularly concerned about for the moment. I don't know why... Oh. Okay. It might be a minute before core fragments come back to Nalvis. But, yeah. Here comes our train. Fantastic. I do want to see if... Uh, where is it? I do, I do want to see how well this works when it's at full flow. Oh my goodness, is that the time already? I don't know if we're getting a spider by the end of the stream. I can try, though. Or at least uh, get that research started. I'm just hoping to see a big enough train load of spice to launch into space. There should be enough for extra... Oh, wait. To automatically launch it, it has to be a full cargo rocket, which is a lot. We do have 8,000, though. Why wasn't I following? I don't know. I do find on some sites that I'm not following someone when I could have sworn I did. But not to be conspiratorial or anything. Fixed it. No worries. Thank you for the follow, Jagus. 8k is plenty. Just send it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. Uh, soon as we get a train delivery of spice. Pasta was good. Almost time for a coma. Nice. I should learn some more pasta dishes. Oh, I want to make quiche. I should change my order. It's going to arrive tomorrow morning. I should add some ingredients for quiche, maybe. Although, if I spend time cooking, I'm likely to run into people in the kitchen and increase chance of catching COVID because they are definitely not being as careful as they should. Decisions. Alright, so we got a little bit of... I'm very tempted to prioritize spice. Wait, how much... Um... So this requires five spice. And where is it? This thing requires one spice. So that's six, presumably six spice. It's more than six spice, uh, I th think. No, I think it's like six spice per recipe for this. 20 extract. Okay, I may have missed something with the multiplication of these things, but it sounds like we need more extract. So I think I'll still leave it 50-50 for the spice and extract flowing to these things. We're only at 2.1k for now, but there's more vitamelange on the way. And I'm sure there will be until this thing is backed up or we completely empty the uh, the main bus base of Vitamalange 2.6k 
it is being a little bit slow. I am a little tempted to summon a train early, but it's not going to be a whole lot. On the other hand, spice is what we need to get that loop going and see if we're getting enough bio sludge. So what if I change the provide stack threshold temporarily? I think actually, last time I did this, um, it seemed like if I set the request threshold low, that was more important. That was like considered a higher priority than the provide threshold. Let's see. This is extract. This is spice. Okay. So request stack threshold one. We'll give that a minute to decide to do something. I'm seeing little gaps in here. Oh, it's because it's coming off the belt, of course. As long as there's no gaps here, we know it's 90 per second. Yeah, it's backing up now. Good. Um, not seeing a delivery. So we'll change this to stack threshold one. And we should see a delivery quite soon. There it goes. Change this back. That's not gonna kick in until the next time LTN is setting a delivery, which if the train limit is a one, uh, it's not gonna be until this thing completes a circuit. I'm really, really pleased with how quickly the trains show up. Um, where even is... the nearest uh, depot is not even that close. I'm super pleased with this rail block system compared to the ones I've designed in the past. Alright. So that is going to be a somewhat pitiful amount of spice. But hopefully we don't need it in super massive numbers. I'll wait till it's fully loaded at the very least. Also, there should definitely be a, a radar here. In vanilla you would need it to be able to see what's what, but stops me from having to use the navigation satellite just to look around at things. Anyway, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble making more spice considering the trains are flowing constantly and so are uh, the cannons from here. Very nice. So, Nalvis Orbit Vitae Extract, this is Extract, Spice, Spice, let's check those are in the right position one last time, Extract, Extract, Spice goes into Provider Chest, and there's a couple of requesters right here. Cool, why don't we launch? And away we go. What? No, I didn't think of that. Oh no. Okay. Uh, minor 
oversight. Um, we're going to need to... I don't think there's a way to do this with just wiring. Oh, yes there is. Oh, never mind. Okay. We're going to connect this here as soon as the bot arrives. So we are counting the items we put on the belt here. That goes there. And I think if I put a long arm inserter here, connect it to this thing, and set the conditions so that everything equals Vitamelange, the way that logic will happen on like the really low level is the count of every item has to every signal has to be equal to the count of extract rather extract so let's just add a constant combinator to test it before we use it also, these should hopefully be in motion. Fantastic. Uh, that should be our loop. This thing is really slow, though. Wow. Um, I might put some speed modules in that. But first... So let's pretend there's a cargo rocket section still in here. Fantastic. So that switches off. Um, capsule. And it is reading the Vitamelange. So we're going to switch that off. And switch that off. And it works. Cool. So that's effectively... I mean, it'll have to wait till this is empty of everything else, but effectively we've put a filter on a long arm inserter. Very nice. And that should be enough to get our... Okay, we've got two of the pre... We've got three of the prerequisites for the catalog. We are missing biomechanical data, which requires biomass, which is just being extremely slow. It goes here and here. Oh, I think I just forgot to have a bit of belt back here. Just like that. And inserter. Nope, too late. Right, let's get some speed modules in this thing, but I want to see this happen first. Fantastic. Uh, what's this called? Growth facility. And speed. Not that kind. Speed it up, please. This one already has speed modules for some reason, and also it's bottlenecking on this thing. Very nice. And we have our first catalog. And our first insight. Fantastic. Why is this part of the belt so much slower? Probably because we're merging this stuff back in on the same side. 
Hmm. Could we maybe... This has to take from the sushi belt. I wanted to prioritize stuff going to the right. I could just put a splitter right here and do exactly that. Where's our splitter? There it is. Right side priority. And we should have no trouble finding room for... Or I could be wrong. Hmm. Might be time to add some... Add some slack to the belt. Maybe. It's a check on bots for accurate numbers requested by advertisers? What? I see a lot of stone brick on the belts. Uh, that's true. That is very true. What are we even using stone brick for? I mean, I'm sure there's something. Stone brick. Oops. What? Oh. I was gonna say, you gotta be kidding me. What? Wait. Really? Is there nothing that consumes stone brick here? Oh, no. Uh... Hmm. Stone brick is limited. Stone brick's supposed to be limited to a hundred. Uh, it is connected to the sushi belt, but for some reason, where can I check? Oh, here we go. For some reason, we've got 6.4k stone brick, and as far as I know, there's nothing consuming it, and it's supposed to be limited to 100. Um, that's weird. It might help just a little bit if we remove that. Maybe. Oh, don't tell me. Wait, is it because... Wait, wait, wait. What is... If stone greater than one... This is for recycling. We sometimes get stone out of scrap, and we turn it into stone brick. Products finished 3.35,844 now. That's probably it. Okay. Um, we need to be getting rid of the stone brick. Well, I'm glad it wasn't a mistake. It, it probably wasn't a mistake, like, deliberately putting stone brick onto the belt. Um, but I don't know what to do with it in the long term. Whatever the case, uh, I think we will chuck it in some chests for now. Do we not have filter inserters? There we go. I turn all my scrap to landfill and rocket it back. Yeah, I never realized we'd have stone on this scale. Stone brick. And away we go. Maybe we can turn it into something useful. I don't suppose this uses it? No. What about the more fancy... Oh, I haven't researched it yet. Uh, this thing does not use stone brick. 
What is there in space that uses stone brick? Well, whatever the case, I think we're going to have a bit of an easier time finding room on the belt pretty soon. Uh, we are nowhere near getting our first bioscience just yet. Products finished one, products finished zero. Okay. So... This produces insight and this needs insight and nothing else. Okay. So that wasn't set up wrong. Catalog requires biocombustion. Biocombustion is lacking blank data cards. Probably partly just because this belt isn't moving as fast as it should. I'm seeing the other kind of data cards. Come on, blank data card. Oh, that was plastic. Okay. Um, we are seeing more and more gaps appearing on the belt. That's good. Blank data card requires polished data substrate. Requires, oh, here it is. Polished data substrate. Wait, what? Oh, you're only putting a hundred of those in the belt. Okay, double it. There's going to be a lot more room now. In fact, probably should have set up a direct line for this one. How about this? What's the output of this? Nothing but polished data substrate. So put that back to 100. And... We'll have those go directly to here. I don't think there turned out to be another use for polished data subs uh, storage substrates. So that's probably going to speed things up significantly. Also, the next time I do a sushi belt like this, um, I think storage buffers, like a chest between the belt and the machine, would probably be a good idea. If we were storing like 100 copper... This would be a lot more consistent. Uh, why don't we add one of these? So we can take items from two belts. As soon as our bot gets here. Unless I've run out of long arms. Oh, here it comes. Read hand contents pulse. And there's our copper. A little bit faster than before. Alright, so hopefully that gives us... We're still at products finished one over here. Hopefully we get more... Blank data cards finding their way over this way. They are being balanced, right? Yeah, we've got balances here. In fact, we're pushing items to... Oh. Well, that wouldn't help. That might. 
Actually, that's probably... No, it's fine. We're just really not seeing blank data cards come here very much. Hmm. I could abuse the bots just a little bit more for this one item. Uh, why don't we do a passive provider over here, actually. And we'll add a request to chest. I did the same mistake, convert stone now to glass. Yeah, considering, uh, to my surprise, I found literally nothing that uses stone brick. Um, I would have to take the stone from the recycling away somewhere else. Which is going to be really tricky considering the shape of this thing. I guess we could do it here. That's not so hard, actually. Well, for now, we'll just throw all the stone into uh, stone brick into storage. So this is going to be like data card. Oh, there's fifty. There's six on the way. Okay, I was gonna say. Um. Oh, I thought we somehow had those in storage from before. I'll just limit that to a stack. And that's going to help a lot for this one, I think. Of course, they're taking a break on the way. Why is that a filter in Zara? There we go. Could probably maybe even put some speed modules in this now. Don't think it'd make that much difference. Could be wrong. And there's our catalogs. And insights. And all we need for this is insights and full thermofluid. And oh. We also need catalogs here. Um, well, how could I get catalog down here? Maybe if I move that substation, but that's going to be a big problem. Um, we put this here, actually. Okay, this is some primo spaghetti, but it'll work. And we're going to need more power. Cool. Significant data, biological catalog, biological insight. Um, I think we need to get the insight on that belt as well, which just means we're going to have to move these pipes. In fact, I probably could have made that a lot easier on myself. You know what? I'm going to leave the spaghetti there. As a warning. 
or a cautionary tale. Oh, wait, wait, that should not be a filter inserter. I mean, that should be a filter inserter. Um, which side of the belt is this? Hold on. I can't exactly pick this up, can I? Let's just watch here. That goes there. Oh, okay, calculated. That's, that's why I did all that. That's what I meant to do. Okay, so insight. Goes on this side of the belt. And that should be our bio signs. Finally. It only makes... Wait, what? I think the stack size meant it grabbed two of them. Instead of going one here, one here, the inserters took turns and it did a stack size of two. There it goes. Nice. So we're just waiting on our first uh, significant data. Just a few more insights. Might be worth speeding these up. How's our power network here? Oh, it's actually right on the brink. Uh, why don't we... Add a few more flat solar panels. Um, I didn't really leave room to take anything out of here. Oh, we do have some. Okay, cool. 20 flat solar panels, why not? How many is this? 18? 19? 20? Glad I thought ahead there. And forgot that I did think ahead. Alright, how's our power looking? That, that did not take long to improve. Do we really have that few solar panels? Yeah, it's really not that many. Okay, that means it's actually pretty easy to expand our power network. Um, so, speed modules in computers. Seems like this thing is keeping up with this thing now. There it goes. Products finished, too. There are... Uh, where is it? What's the thing I like to click on? Here we go. There are eight. That was quick. There's already... Products finished, four. There's already eight uh, bioscience in the network. So now we have to put it on a belt. Um, I think we'll do it over here. Just get that over this way. Um... That's a good place to put it. Let's just do it like that. And then... Whoops. Red wire. Because we're subtracting from the sushi belt. No condition. Whitelist. And... Biological science pack. How long does this SpaceX mod take to finish? Uh, quite a while, I would imagine. Although... Yeah, that's actually a lot of stuff we've still got to do. 
although things should accelerate from here. We've now got things set up so that sending vast quantities of stuff to space is pretty easy. Um, taking new planets is pretty easy. Uh, and we are on our way to researching Spidertron. Where is our... We've got seven bioscience on the belt. That means it should be here. Or is it down here? Oh, there it goes. Biological science pack. Fantastic. All right, so just another 996. Or was it 992? Um... Biological science packs to go before we get our spider trunk. The important thing is it is fully automated. Don't think there's anything we need to touch before that eventually happens. Um, although it will take a while the way it's going. But yeah. Next thing to do is... Maybe colonize a couple more planets with a much more simple and robust uh, system of instead of doing the core fragment pulverizing on the planet and ending up having to worry about keeping this stuff flowing. Um, not to mention it takes a lot of time and messing around to set up all of the infrastructure required to get to building our own... Not so much building the delivery cannon capsules, but delivering... getting all the prerequisites for them, getting rid of all the excess resources so we don't end up uh, overloaded on one resource or another so the whole thing stops. Instead, we want to drop down onto a planet, put down a bunch of solar panels, um, a coal mining drill or two and send that directly to a delivery cannon capsule which we will be receiving um, put, put down some delivery cannon chests and just receive what we need directly to make uh, the cannon capsules and the media defense ammo instead of processing all of this stuff here. Uh, but yeah. The other thing uh, I want to be doing... Sorry, launch trigger should be launch on cargo full. The other thing I want to be doing is basically designing from scratch and starting a huge space base. Um, probably a main bus design. As I said before, I'm thinking about having, instead of outputs go directly into the middle like this, um, they could probably go outside, come all the way back up here, and then go down the middle. That way, if I end up realizing something up here needs something from down here, it's not going to be a problem. But looks so empty now. It really does. There is so much. There is so much space left over. I, th you know, when I was setting some of these to like, okay, iron plate. Surely we need a lot of that. Maybe a thousand at the most. Like when I was setting the numbers for some of these, I didn't think I was being that over the top. Especially because, if we do a quick estimate. Let's just go by the regular belt. 957 times 8 is uh, 7.6 thousand items that should be able to fit. That's not counting the underground belts, splitters. Uh, corners are obviously slightly smaller. Um, 
we should be able to fit like 8,000 items on this sushi belt pretty comfortably. So to have done the rough math and set a bunch of these limits fairly sensibly, and then to find it's all getting full. Didn't really seem to make that much sense, but I should have paid more attention to it. I mean, if I just looked at this number right here, we've still got seven point... We don't actually... I forgot... I forgot to count taking the stone brick off the belt. It thinks we still have 7.1k. Oh well. Uh, J Mabus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Armor Dill Don't. Is this K2 plus SE or just SE? It is just space exploration. With some quality of life mods, of course. Do you have the energy transfer between planets? No, I don't have that. Uh, didn't realize that was a thing yet. Although I'm sure it's uh, quite a bit of research away. Are lots of logistic bots in space a bad idea? Uh, a Imo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's not necessarily a bad idea. I just uh, tried to avoid it at first because of... What's it called again? Bot attrition? Um, especially when you first come to space. You know, you've got very little... Um, and don't want to set up a supply chain just to resupply bots. But obviously we've scaled up beyond that point. I could use bots if I want to do it easy mode. But I kind of want to see how challenging it is to not use bots in space. For the most part. I think using just a few bots is fine, of course. Um, especially, you eventually end up with a few things that would just be a real nuisance to do everything with belts. Although, once we get trains, I could definitely do everything that way. Uh, what was the other question? What liquid do you need the most in space? I'm thinking about a base design that only uses bots, almost no pipes. Um, I don't know. Because, really, I just concentrate on we need coal and we need ice to, um, to turn everything else into, uh, to turn into all of the other liquids that we need. Um, but yeah. Spidertron's still at 0%. We have made... It's still only 8. Uh, biological science packs. I guess I'm not too surprised that this is slowed down now. Okay. In any case, it is about that time. So let's find a stream to raid. Uh, this is the save, right? Let's see who sees. Let's see who is streaming Factorio today. How long has it been since we raided Mucky? Probably five minutes. Uh, let's see. We've raided JD plays a couple of times, not that often. Maybe we'll drop by JD plays. If we do, then I'll be looking for a small one tomorrow. Ah, uh, sure, why not? If you're going to use a lot of space machine, better mass produce space assembling machine on planet can't you only oh you mean the small ones yeah we do that definitely why not produce them in space either what either or the big ones you have to build in space 
Uh, so let's drop in on JD Plays. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions, by all means, let me know. And uh, stay safe out there. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Thanks for dropping by. Evil plot. Let's go. Take care, Emo. Just get in there before they spit acid destroys them. It's fine. If I'm going to use server waiting signal, it means my PC faster than server.